This podcast features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Take four hard walls, a hard floor, and a hard ceiling. Bring to boil under extreme pressure, and you've got a recipe for hard time. Framed by a rival's sister for a hard crime he never even did, Omen Drawn confronts the harsh reality of life behind bars. I roll out of this cot. Mm -hmm. Everybody else doesn't have their equipment, but of course I have all my equipment. Um, like my hammer and stuff. I, right. I love you, but no. In prison, there's one rule. Never let them take your blood. At first you can't make it out, but then... Blah, blah. Blood. 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 But he's not the only one falsely accused. He's got a three-deep posse of hanging hard toughs. Evelyn Marthane, a paladin with an axe to grind for the Morning Lord. Now, Omen is seeing me in this completely unacceptable fashion. This outfit of the day is not gram-worthy. <laughs> Can I alter my clothing to look shabby chic? Strix Beestinger, a tiefling witch with a trash wish. I am wow. the president of the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on my body. <laughs> and Kathris, a drow on the inside who's down to die. Do you want to know how to escape? Yes. Huh? Into your own mind. <laughs> to escape, they'll need help from an old contact. In Revel's End, Grandmother Knight doesn't just drink tea. She spills it. You are in prison for life, having murdered Omen, which the implication is, you know, multiple omens. If at any point mm. we have a second, maybe yes. you could explain to us why there was another one of you? Let's just say Portenta Drawn was able to, in your absence, get a hold of that technology. Industrialize it. Industrialize it, exactly. What a great word. Industrialize it on such a level that an entire prison facility could be used as a secret evil lair where they clone all of their enemies to do their bidding. Let's just say hypothetically. That's a horrible hypothetical situation. I'm so glad it's only make-believe. Yes. Yeah. Breaking out takes grit, guts, and guile. In this hellscape, finding freedom means facing the truth and facing yourself in clone form. We can all just chill out. We're all the same, you know? Fucking shut up. <laughs> <laughs> when were you clones made? Because you look busted, no offense. <laughs> I don't like her. Clone Strix says, oh, Jim's not dead. <gasps> Where's Jim? Where is it? Clone Strix looks around at your evil clones and they all start laughing. I don't know how to read, but like, I'm not interested in these stupid books, but like, if I were though, what would you recommend? I would recommend learning how to read. <laughs> the only rule in Rebel's End is, if you want to use magic, you'll need a wristband. The other thing to know is that Jim has wristbands. <gasps> and instead of the real Jim Dark Magic, Omen finds a full throttle Jim clone battle royale for wristband supremacy. But there are even more gyms that are piled up on the periphery of the room in great heaps. <laughs> I'm trying to find the one that I think is my gym. I know that he has a very specific tattoo. I don't want to say where it is, but just know that I know where it is. Sure. <laughs> so if, if what you're asking oh is, my God. am I running around looking in Oh my god. The pants, yes. Yes, that's what the untrained eye might see. It's like, no, 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 no. There's a cloning facility where the prison keeps all the blood they took to make clones of you. But never underestimate the hard-bitten street smarts of a hard-boiled daughter. You recognize none other than your daughter, Certainty Drawn. Papa! <laughs> He's hopeless without me. Uh, I mean, Hi, I'm leverage. Evelyn. Hi. Really nice to meet you, sir. I'm certainty. I've heard so much all about you. What school did you go to? Was, How old are you? I'm, I'm 19. Oh, we're so close in age. Yeah. I can't, I can't express enough. The only rule in Rebel's End is, even when you're out, you're not out yet. Honey. <laughs> 
how I've missed you. And now we're going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> the bleakness of Icewind Dale is now rushing in, but even more alarming is the sudden, deafening, terrifying, mechanical scream that shakes the broken glass of this blood library. And that's where we're going to end tonight. <laughs> so. In Revel's End, only one thing is for certain. This blood-packed hell ride will keep you on the edge of your blood. Acquisitions Incorporated presents End of Revels 2, Revels Ends. I'm just soaking in for a moment, all of us being back. I want to go out and just give everyone a hug. Welcome, welcome back to a game of Acquisitions Incorporated Live. I am Jeremy Crawford, playing the role of Dungeon Master this evening as we make our return to the icy prison of Revel's End. Joining me on stage tonight is our intrepid crew, always starting, of course, with Omen Drawn, played by Jerry Holkins. Next up, our stage is graced by Certainty Drawn, played by Jasmine Bular. You know him for his love of cheese. Bobby Zimaruski is back, played by WWE superstar Xavier Wood. We missed you guys! Yeah. <laughs> Next up, Evelyn Marthane, played by our Anna Prosser. <laughs> and last but not least, everyone's favorite blue warlock, Kithris Draub played by Chris Stroud. <laughs> so are we ready to play some Dungeons uh, and Dragons? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yes! I can't wait. I can't wait. The wind. <laughs> The wind is blasting in through the massive hole that was just busted through the front of the prison. And right here, see this window? Right over here on this glorious model? That is right where you are, my friends. And right there in front of you, blasting through, is the Cosmo Hop. Hmm. And we have... Holy shit. Your friend Vi, as well as the beautiful pre-painted minis from Hero Forge wow. representing each of you. What a time savings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying so not, hard not to cry the first time you see your miniature. It's the first time. It's the first time. This is really cool. I love you. Oh, it's got the coat. You're so pretty. <laughs> and so, 
as you take in this amazing machine that several of you have ridden in before to travel from Ravnica to hell, back to Waterdeep, and to other various strange interstitial realms. Here it is with Artificer Extraordinaire Vi. <laughs> Honeys, we need to get out. And I don't know what the hell that sound was outside, so I say we get the hell out fast. But before, and oh my goodness, it's so good to see you. Oh, and you especially. Mm, how you doing? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. She has to take a seat. <laughs> Go ahead. Rest, rest, baby girl. She just takes you in. <laughs> Okay. Exactly what I'm looking for. There's plenty. Listen, this can happen, and it can happen as long as you want, and it can happen in a room that has a door and no windows. If the sound is as bad as you have said, you said hell twice, I feel like that indicates a certain level of sort of, you know, get up and go. Mm, mm, mm. A little Urgency. energy. Yeah. Yes, I love this. Yeah. This is an excellent word choice. My friend, you, you are being unusually efficient in your problem solving. Is there a lever on this that I can throw? Yeah, let's get down with the quickness. What do we do? All right, all right, all right, all right. I, 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 we, will, we will continue this we'll, later. We'll talk. Mm. Mm -mm. Now, before we get out of here and find out whatever the hell that sound was, you are in a horrific blood library. And as you probably have gathered, in which our spies informed me of while I was repairing this device and figuring out how to get you the fuck out of here, this blood is a sample of all of you and untold many other people here, not only in Icewind Dale, but I suspect some folks from Neverwinter and as far south as Waterdeep. Here's what that means. We got to destroy all this shit, because if this gets into Drawn Enterprise's hands, they're going to create an army of clones, and the Sword Coast is lost. And Evelyn ignites her flame tongue greatsword, and is like about to hit one, but looks at you for... Oh, honey, that, that is what I'm talking about. Uh, <laughs> oh, Bobby I, immediately started doing the same thing with yeah. the morning star. <laughs> uh, Dad, sidebar? Yes. Uh, wouldn't a corporate takeover be in our better interest today? I'm just trying to take notes. Um, Listen, I don't disagree. Setting stuff on fire. <laughs> oh. this, is a, <clears throat> this is a little bit distressing. I feel well, I, like listen, uh, we I mean, could come up here. We're talking about an asset situation, obviously. And, and, and it, I, let me take a moment before we continue to say that absolutely every platinum piece I spent on Mandragor University was well put. Thank you. <laughs> but, but the clone army aspect, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and cross that T right now. And then we can come back and get the rocks later. Right. Okay. That's push. You that's just always told me to <laughs> seize that ass anytime you see Ooh. it. Yeah. Ass I mean, for asset. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, you might it. not know this, Catherine. You got to you you squeeze it. You got to get the profit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any time. We have to get rid of this oh, <laughs> as fast as we can. I set one on fire for you like a cocktail. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> no, I'm just like, I'm like, no, 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 no. It's like if a cat gets too close to the lilies, it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> No, no, no. And now I'm just, I'm, now I'm like putting my finger down his throat, like, no, no. What else did you get? Yeah, what else gotta, did you get? Gotta in? induce vomiting. It's you all don't gotta, know where that's been or well, who well, it's been in. I mean, it's been here. Unfortunately, we actually know where a lot of it has that's been, true. and we don't want it in there. No. No. It's the fastest way to destroy some things <laughs> I've discovered. Now I'm just holding my sword out and flying in circles, hitting all of the shelves. <laughs> As your fling tongue hits the vials and the blood splatters out, blood everywhere. I said blood everywhere. Yeah, it's absolutely blood. Oh, blood, shit. blood, oh. blood, 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 bl
I didn't know about the blood. And as your fire hits that blood, it sizzles and blackens as, as it turns to ash. But Bobby, you're shattering some with your non-flaming weapon. And Kithris, right as you swallow some, you notice that the unburnt blood that is not only all over Bobby, but also all over the floor around him. That's the good stuff is actually starting to stream mm. toward. Oh, no. Little holes are streaming toward each other and are starting to rise up into the form of humanoid-like figures. And right as you see this, you have a kind of <laughs> in no. your stomach. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I just had this. this. It's too soon. And, and as one of these begins to rise up, Evelyn, another one right at your feet is beginning to rise up, but part of it is burning because of your flame tongue. You each have a split second to do something before this larger one completely takes form. And Kithris, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> That's perfect for me. <laughs> I love to make them. That said, that's a flat nine. Not great. It's as many vials as I drank, incidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Gallons. It fits, yeah. You take 12 poison damage. All right. Ah, Jesus Christ. Never been easier. <laughs> and as this burning sensation starts spreading from your stomach outward toward your extremities, your lips, in contrast, feel ice cold. And you all notice that Kithris is going from blue to kind of a sickly green with also some veiny red streaks across your face. Mm. Don't be as delighted as this, first of all. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> what do I look like? What do I look like? <laughs> I'm very sick right now. <laughs> Anyone going to do anything? You have a split second. What, can I cast a spell? Go for it. Um, could I bring a flame strike down? to tamp down this blood issue over here. Yes. This seems very timely, and I feel like it's part of my greater campaign. Um, as I'm gonna, as I'm gonna you know, work this magic, I'm gonna say, Certainty, did you learn anything at that school I oh, paid yeah. for? Yeah, that, you want me to handle this? I got this. Could you please? Yeah. I'm gonna step in the middle, uh, put on my debate stance, <laughs> and I'm gonna cast calm emotions. I'm gonna be like, listen here, bloods. There's two ways this can go. <laughs> you will either be dispatched forthwith, or you can join us. Now, you've seen what this man has done with your kind. He will eat all of you. She's he will right. enjoy it. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. Evelyn waves her sword, and the aftermath that will be wrought in the restrooms of this prison will haunt you till the end of your days. <laughs> so, either y'all chill the fuck out, or my dad's gonna kick your ass. The plate creaks uh, as my arms fold and I shrug as if to say she's fucking right. <laughs> so no flame start. <laughs> I'm, let's, let's test this first. Yeah. Go ahead and give me a charisma persuasion check with advantage because of the, the magic. The that oratory. You, yes. Because blood hates a lecture. <laughs> is my, oh, I have plus 10 to persuasion. Mm, there we go. 25. Whoa. Huh? So can we do better? And We feel good about this. So this figure that is, that is forming... As you're talking, Certainty, you see multiple faces starting to appear on what would be the chest, and you recognize them. Like, one looks vaguely like Jim Dark Magic. Ooh, okay. Another like your dad. Another like Strix. And it's the Strix face that says, you know, 
you're right. <laughs> and the, this bloody mass with the other faces on the chest grumbling in protest turns around <laughs> and staggers out of the room. <laughs> I told you that tuition was an investment. Like I said, it's I, paying dividends. I have a question, Jeremy Crawford. I always love it when you ask me questions. Does a corpse have to be a whole corpse to be affected by things that would affect a corpse? <laughs> so it, it depends on the magic. Some, some less powerful magic needs most of it to be there. But more powerful magic can sometimes do a lot with a very little. Well, Evelyn, encouraged by watching Certainty use her words, and sadly looking at the carnage around her, wants to flutter down and place her hands in the blood pooling on the floor and perform a beautiful funeral rite using ceremony and say, Dear Lathander, bless all the souls trapped inside this corpse mush that is totally a corpse that would be affected by things that would affect a corpse. <laughs> and please cleanse them all and, and bring them to your glory in, in the light of the morning, Lord, so that they, uh, for the next seven days, can't become undead by any means short of a wish spell. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise be to Leviathan. Lathander. Honey. Lathander. Lathander. <laughs> yeah. I've been training. I've been training. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, you're, you'll get there. We're getting there. We're going. A soft light, slightly rosy like the dawn, Aww. suddenly illuminates this blood covered chamber and the burbling blood on the ground calm. <gasps> and there is a a shiny sparkle across it. Evelyn kind of like pats it. <laughs> there, there. I'm looking on very proud mm -hmm. my mentor. Mm -hmm. May you rest. Does this affect the blood that's not directly on the ground? I'm saying <laughs> blood that's in another part of the room. Blood that's sort of in the digestive tract. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Could Technically be. it was part of that corpse mush. It's funny you should ask that. <laughs> there is a sudden second lurch in your abdominal cavity, and I'm going to need a, another constitution saving throw. All right, I'll give that to you, but <laughs> I'll do it, but, but after this, I'm going to attempt to uh, do, uh, I'm going to cast Mage Hand and try to induce vomiting. You, you also get plus five, I think, to that. That roll? Uh, oh. Because it's a saving throw and you're close to me. Oh. Okay, well, then that is a 16. Very good. Well, because of that and the holy presence of Evelyn, the burning still hurts, sure. but it's not as bad as it would have been. So this time you take only four poison damage. Hey. And there is a mighty movement inside, and you can feel that if not for her help, it might have come straight out through your stomach. Oh, wow. God. Cramps are the worst. But instead, <laughs> instead, Kithris, it starts coming out of your mouth. Hey, that ain't bad. And, and <laughs> I as know the rest that. of you see, him lurched over with blood now blasting out like out of a fire hose. High pressure jet. High pressure. Water cutter. Projectile. Yeah. Uh, it starts hitting the floor and the instant it hits, it forms into another one of these figures and I need you all to roll initiative. Oh. Damn it. Heavy. Well, I can offer you an 11. 21. Eight. What is this? What is this math? 
Was it 21? 21. Nice. So who's higher? 25. Hey. <laughs> Just a 25, I guess. See, and you can only this. roll 25s this game. That's it. <clears throat> yep. Oh, 21. 21. Uh, you, uh, I think you and Evelyn both got 21. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, which of you would like to go first? But well, I, I got, got a 25. 25. Well, the oh, first between the two of them. Oh. You are definitely going to oh. take both of them. You won. You won Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Yeah. Here's your ribbon. You know? Yeah. yeah. Um, I'll, I'll hold. I'll wait to see. You were very effective with the other blood. The <laughs> uneaten blood. <laughs> so. All right. Certainty, you're going to go first. And this, this figure rises up and... It has these red veins covering it, similar Ugh. to what you saw for a moment on Kithris's face. Yuck. And there is also a greenish illumination on it coming from the torches around in this room that all burn with green flame. Green flame! I love that. And this greenish Ooh. creature Ow. rises up as you all are gathered near the Cosmo Hopper, and as it rises up, Vi look, takes another drag from her cigarette and says, oh, hell no. <laughs> uh, Certainty, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to cast a hex on it, and uh, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit it with an enfeebling arrow. Yes, that's what I shall do. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is it? Um, so I, I uh, believe that is, just give, uh, give me a moment here, that's a, that's a five on the die, <laughs> which is uh, great. Um, so I think I'm looking at a 10. So yeah, this, this creature not only dodges out of the way that you've seen many combatants do before. Oh, oh but, but Jeremy. Uh, not on my watch. <laughs> oh. I am going to use my channel divinity ability, War God's Blessing, to add 10 to the attack roll. Ooh. Ooh. Thanks, Pop. Daughter. Yeah. Oh. The love. And, and, then I say, and then I say it wasn't me. <laughs> I'm wondering if we should call that the Papa bonus. Aww. <laughs> Aww. So cute. And so you hit. And this thing... As it was starting to dodge, you hear breaking inside it as if oh. it's slowly forming bones were actually breaking Yuck. out of place to bend in a really unnatural way away from your strike, but thanks to his magic you hit anyway. And so what happens? I love this man so much. <laughs> All right, so it's going to take eight and then an additional 2d6. So it's going to be nine, so 17. Hell and yes. then I hexed him, just like Dad taught me. Uh, and so that adds another two. Outstanding. Uh, it howls from the strike, but the howl doesn't just come oh. from its face mouth. Uh, <laughs> no. When you guys <laughs> verify the bottom part where the mouth is. Yeah, that's when there's problems. That's when the howls problem. also come from the chest mouths, the leg mouths, mm -hmm. the arm mouths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you think even there are some feet mouths. Oh, you hate feet yes. mouths. New mouth just dropped. <laughs> <laughs> just quick verification. Are there any mouths that are like, oh, like they were into it? <laughs> <laughs> they are all mad or one of the two is like, hmm. There, there is one, now that you, you look for this specifically. And I am. Strangely, you notice one of the faces just right here, as all the others are contorted in pain and howling, this one seems to have also produced a bloody finger and is just going. <laughs> <laughs> no. We keep that face. Keep that face. No. One of us. We're taking it with One us. Of us. Uh, Evil one, what in. do you do? The, so the creature that we are seeing here, that's the same one that came out of Cathris, yes. right? Yes. Okay. I'm going to just try to hit it, which is what I'm good at. I'm going to use my flame tongue greatsword because that's what I have out. 
Oh, no. <laughs> so good roll? Mm, not so great. No. That's a one. Oh. Oh, yeah, I have two. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> you, you hear a voice from one of the prisoners down the hall. <laughs> No. Miss Marthane! No. I, I prefer Don't to forget. think it was the other blood yeah. mouth. Yeah, it, was, it goes, try again. Yeah. All right, that's much better. Yeah, 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 much better. Ooh, yeah, yeah. All right, that's going to be plus nine, so a total of 26. And Definitely assuming that hits, um, that's going to be five plus three is eight plus six. Nope, plus five is 13. And I believe that also uh, deals an extra 2d6 fire damage. Ooh. So that's an extra seven. Oof. And then. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I'm going to use if you uh, have Searing Smite, which is a bonus action. And it's going to deal an extra 1d6 fire damage which is five, and then it's going to cause it to ignite in flames. And then at the start of each of its turn, in each of its turns, it must make a constitution saving throw, and on a failed save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. So I set it on fire. Yeah. yeah. Evelyn, you saw before when you were gliding around the room, shattering vials with this flaming sword, that this blood was burning. And sure, the mouths scream again from the weapon strike, but it's when the fire hits that all of those mouths, the screaming reaches a much, much, much higher pitch, except for that one, <laughs> <laughs> which is now going. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Kithris, what do you do? Uh, let's see here. Um, well, I want to, am I able to, I want to try and talk to my son. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? You know, it's just tough as a parent. You think you're on the right track and then they start making bones. Having tons of mouths. Yeah. <laughs> Mouthing off. <laughs> Got a mouth on him. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> He's the worst. Um, I could also do that in the form of dissonant whispers. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So 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 all of all of these dark encouragements just come in the form of an eldritch whisper. It's like yeah. the Yin Yang twins talking. To <laughs> oh yeah. Whisper in your ear. Yeah, let's attempt it. <laughs> but instead of a discordant melody, I'm gonna just, you know, shame him. Yeah. What were you thinking? Oh. You raise a hand to us. <laughs> Care about you. Wash oh, those easy. mouths that's, out with soap. Yeah. <laughs> so this is a wisdom saving throw. And what's the DC? Uh, 16. Two. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Low. <laughs> so that's going to be a 76. Oh. Whoa. Because, uh, I need more of these. I don't have enough of this one. Thank you. Yeah, Dick. I also need people to add it for me because. <laughs> Let's see, that's a uh, two, five, and a six. <laughs> 13. 13 plus. Uh, plus 10. 23. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So now it's 23. And oh, one, and one final one to two. grow on. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Twenty-five is the number of the game. First. It game. is, yeah. yeah. That's the third one. All right, your your fatherly chastisement combined <laughs> with your magic racks this creature, <laughs> and it it not only howls in pain, but you see that some of the faces actually begin to tear up. <laughs> and then a bunch of them, all in unison, just say, Dad, <laughs> why? <laughs> and as they do this, there is a 
lurching sound inside them as there's that, you know, kind of that heaving cry. You know, sometimes when you cry so hard, you yeah. start I, I, heaving. I, Jeremy, I do know. <laughs> yeah. But it heaves a little too hard. And suddenly, Ugh. there is a blast of blood, 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 that shoots out of all of the mouths at once over all five of you. Ew. Now you fucking oh. Couldn't it just, just hit him? Couldn't it just hit him? I blame the schools. Spank children, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is, they saw this on TikTok. <laughs> so, so you learned this. It's all of this blood mouth stuff. <laughs> as, as this animate blood washes over all of you, I need you each to make a constitution saving <laughs> It's the blood mouth chat. Uh, and everyone gets, uh, assuming everyone's within 10 feet of me, everyone gets plus five on that. <clears throat> yeah, I was there all the time. Nice. Okay. Uh, uh, 18. Uh, plus five. 23. Very nice. 24. Same. 22. 24. And Omen. Uh, what, was the, what was the check again? Constitution. Constitution. So nine, eleven, and then plus five. Sixteen, baby. <laughs> you made it, I got it only because <laughs> of evil. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. I got you. I know that. So thanks to all of you stealing yourselves and most importantly clamping your mouths shut. <laughs> as as the blood sprays out, you'd all take only nine poison damage apiece. Mm. Okay. Omen. Yes. What do you do? Uh, I am going to set up uh, something very special. Something very tender. Um, hang on. It's, 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 it's scrolling and I don't want it to scroll. <laughs> um, it is something that I like to call the Crusader's Mantle. Mm. So I'm going to instantiate the Crusader's Mantle, which cloaks all of my allies within 30 feet um, with holy power, and it awakens boldness in friendly creatures. Um, so until the spell ends, uh, it follows me around, and everybody basically deals an extra D4 Radiant, which I suspect this blood mouth uh, wicked thing will not, will resent. Mm -hmm. I pull mine over myself like a Snuggie. Yeah, I exactly. always loved these. Yeah, see? They're just, so great on movie nights. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I like that the Crusader's Mantle is Snuggies that you hand out. We're all like, yeah. oh, yeah. No, it, just, it summons the box, yeah. and then I just pass them out. <laughs> all right, everybody. Which is great, because we're covered in blood now. Yeah. Well, you know, and obviously the box is the best part, of right. course, but mm -hmm. it's fine. Anything else on your turn? Uh, that's, unfortunately, that's my whole action. But I will beam with pride, certainly, at my progeny, and then... And, and, and you all now have these glorious Snuggies. <laughs> so, so as you don these comfy garments, you hear outside that same mechanical-sounding roar again, and rising up on giant mechanical wings, you see a dragon made partly out of bluish ice, what? partly out of machinery, and up on top you see two figures, a mysterious masked figure who is holding the reins of this mechanical dragon, and right behind the figure, holding on to them, is Jim Dark Magic. And the dragon, as it roars, reaches forward, grabs the Cosmo Hopper, oh. tips it backward, and it falls. No! And you hear, Vi, you hear Vi scream, oh, fuck me! <laughs> and the Cosmo Hopper falls out of sight. Can I, can I race after? Vi! Vi! I'm chasing to try to save Vi. It is. That's awesome. It is, it is now your turn. I oh. use the rope that's in my bag. 
into a lasso immediately, <laughs> swinging it over my head, trying to save Vi as she's falling to certain death. All right. As you get to the edge and look down, you see, like in slow motion, the Cosmo Hopper falling. You see the dragon actually swooping down almost like on an intercept angle underneath it, and Vi falling just right above it. Go ahead and make a ranged attack roll. So Save your lady. your dexterity. This is the most important roll of <laughs> any time I've been on stage. Come on, come on, there we go! Let's go! Let's go! That's it. That's it. That's the hot material. As I swing the rope over my head and I send it down, I say, praise be to Larry! Lathander! Lathander! <laughs> Lavender. <laughs> it's coming next. Yeah. Vi, falling in slow motion as, the, as this heavy rope comes hurtling down toward her. For a moment, it looks like it's just out of her reach but then she flicks her cigarette out of her hand. <laughs> she and she grabs on. She has to lose it. Oh, no. Wow. So this is a tragedy. Vi, as I pull her up, Vi, you tossed your cigarette to save your old life. I didn't think you loved yourself enough. <laughs> yeah. This is growth. This is growth. Honey, I've been around for more centuries than I'll admit. And you know, as I fell, puffing on my cigarette, I thought, would it be so bad if it ended now? But then I saw your, your face. <laughs> and Vi, you know, even though you tossed a cigarette, your boy got something for you to smoke. <laughs> I use stone shape to erect a five foot high wall in front of me. Uh, and then I, I just turn around and like sit with my back against it. <laughs> I just, I don't need to see this. Uh, I don't like to see it. That would have counted as my bonus action, yeah? That was your action. <laughs> <laughs> Good try though. Yeah, we I'm like gonna it. Ask. Um, but that means that I have an attack, yes, still. No. You have another attack. I oh, I guess that's yes. true. I guess that's true. Barbarian. This was yeah. the so as I hold and 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 as you as you do that, and Vi is still sort of flabbergasted, and what you just said just hits her, and she says, "I have been wanting to try that leaf you smoke." Oh, oh God. <laughs> well, give me one second, babe. <laughs> and as I hold her gently in my arms, like the cover of a romance novel. I eye this green hellion over here and pull out my javelin. And I say, watch this. <laughs> and I valiantly throw it aiming at the mouth of this disgusting beast. Well, the, the face mouth. Yeah. Specify. No, please. Yeah, you've got to break it down. <laughs> the face mouth uh, in hopes of doing a lot of harm to it. <sighs> Go ahead and uh, make your attack roll. Okay. Come on, look cool. We need cool. something plump. Please look cool. Please look cool. <laughs> Oh. Is that Jack? What is that? That's going to be a 12 okay. for that. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, you don't exactly hit. Your aim is true, but the mouths open in just the right way so Ooh, that the javelin sails right through and clatters on the floor <laughs> behind it. I, Certainty. I say to Vi... Well, at least I tried, babe. <laughs> yeah. I'm just amazed I'm alive. <laughs> I'm going to walk over to Kuthris, clap him on the shoulder and say, sup, and heal him. <laughs> Ooh. That's a three, a four, so that's seven, 11, plus two. So you heal 13 hit Hell points of damage. Yes. Ooh, thank that's you. my bonus action. It's the family business. And then um, as my action, I'm going to 
cast message, which looks like I'm texting, <laughs> messaging my dad. I'm like, uh, hey. we got, listen, I mean, we, we, this we, got, we got a lot to talk about. This is why we got the family plan. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> you, you hear this message in your head as yeah. I'm like texting and I'm like, what's up, isn't that like Drake, a trademark design of ours? Also, is Uncle Kathris okay? He talked to that weird vomit baby like it was his son. Maybe we should look into that. That's, I, I also, gotta, I think we deserve royalties on that metal, Drake. I think we have trademarks out on it. What do you think? Thoughts? Yeah. Um, as far as the blood demon, I would say this is probably the least weird thing he's done today. And then on the Drake issue, I feel like it's an order of operations problem. Once it's not trying to immolate us or the people we know, uh, we can move, obviously, into the next, into the negotiation. Litigation. Phase. Absolutely. Perfect. <laughs> We're, we, we will annihilate. Uh, that Absolutely. will be my turn. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah, God, is it like a, is it like a perfectly smooth stone? Yeah. She just knows where to where to. Yeah. Evelyn, like a skipping stone. It's your turn, and as you're about to act, you suddenly see the dragon soaring back up past the big hole in the wall with the Cosmo Hopper clutched in its claws and it's heading upward. Hmm. hmm. I don't want it to leave. I think that would be bad for us. Um, and the many mouthed thing is still standing before you. Uh, I'm, I'm like engaged with this, but I see the dragon going by and I say, you! Eyes on me! And I cast Compelled Duel on the dragon. <laughs> <laughs> like, right between the two things? Yeah. This is baller. Uh, so that's going to be Wisdom Saving Throw 17. Christ. Come on, come on. I rolled a 20. Oh! <laughs> that would have been so cool, Jeremy. <laughs> it would. It honestly would have. Aw. So the... The big ice and mechanical head sort of shakes for a minute and then just keeps flapping. Well, that was my bonus action, so I'm like, meh. <laughs> just smash the blood thing with, uh, I guess, my flame tongue greatsword. That's been working. The heart of Spinelli. I roll a 20. Hey. Nice. So, so right. we'll, we'll just trade them. <laughs> so we'll just there. trade 20s. Yeah. I see your 20 with a 20. That's going to be. Uh, double dice, right? Okay, so 10 and then uh, 7. So 17 plus 5 is 23. And then I get the plus 2d6 fire damage. Do those double as well? Do it. Great. <laughs> 23, 26, uh, 31, 34, Christ, dude. 37. And it's on fire. And it has to make a constitution saving throw to see if it takes another d6. Oh, yeah, plus 1d4 radiant. Oops, that's not it. Uh, yeah, just get the biggest dice you want. And yeah, will you guys come to my home, Another games? four. Yeah. <laughs> Those prisoners behind bars. <laughs> and the snuggie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This has been a great night for them. It yeah. really has. <laughs> Best entertainment they've seen in years. <laughs> Filled with the light of Lathander, you strike this creature and it explodes. Great, great. <laughs> Yes. Exploding blood, great, taken care of. Guess what? I have a second attack. Well, and I you, remembered this time. Have you moved? I have not. Do you have any special shoes? I sure do. What, what properties do they have? Uh, <laughs> they are flying. So what I'd like to really? do is just like in slow-mo, feet like splashing in the blood, like choo, 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 leap off and then just swan dive off wherever I'm going toward the dragon, just straight toward it. Are you jumping over me and Vi, who are still in that romantic set? Oh, yeah. Okay. And there's, like, sure. blood droplets that yeah. kind of, like... Perfect. That's yeah. what I needed. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. Slow. Yeah. yeah. Dripping on the side of my lips as I... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just at this moment, two awakened doves that were also in this prison <laughs> fly out with you. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. Uh, with 30... Uh, movement speed, can I reach 
the dragon? No, mm. but you are darn close. And okay. the dragon is flapping up right about here. Uh, you're actually pretty close to the base of the Cosmo Hopper. And you can see that the dragon is veering up over the roof of the prison. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it will matter, but since I do have the second attack, I'm just going to hold action just in case either Jim or the dragon comes close enough for me to hit them. All right. Or the, the person who we don't know who they are. Kithris. Hmm. So we've all seen this. We saw those figures on the back. Yes. We had enough time to perceive it. Yes. Um, okay. This, so this basically is, kill the dragon in one turn. This is easily, this is easily the 51st Jim Dark Magic you've seen <laughs> in the prison. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm not going to waste time reaching out to that Jim. But uh, we've effectively, I mean, we've split the party in a small way. One of us has left. Do I see any way that we could follow? The blood is not an issue at the moment. Right. I'm just concerned that we either scale the outside of the prison or maybe we go back inside. <laughs> for <laughs> find, Coco. Find some stairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for Coco. Yeah, and just rest. <laughs> Get some of these slots back. Uh, yeah, like, should I worry is what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't tell you if you worry or These are big questions. Uh, in that case, in could, that case. Could someone normal jump onto the Cosmo Hopper from the ledge? That's the plan. Well, the Cosmo Hopper is now above. It's okay. high. Yeah. It's a couple stories up from here. Okay. I, I'd probably ask you, since I'm right next, I'd be like, uh, Uncle Quithrish, Uncle do you need, a, you need a lift? I can yes. give you a lift on my turn. You can. Yeah. Uh, let me, okay. I can let pop me, us right over there. Let me check. Uh, I'm going to awaken mind to uh, you, Evelyn, yeah. and ask, sh should we follow? Do you, how, how is it? How are you? I mean, you? I, if you don't want to, if you want to have Coco, that's fine. I got this, but I, I'm, I mean, sure. If you want to hang, I love hanging out with you. Let's go. <laughs> she said something about there being Coco up there. So. <laughs> Coco. So then are you going to like hold action until I'll, my I'll, turn? Yeah. So yeah. we at this point will drop out of initiative as if you're all going to try to make your way yeah. up. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you... I'm going to dimension Doris right over there. Yes! Which is literally me just going... Oh, yeah. After you, sir. Thank you. I see oh, that. And I, I let oh, I'm, know. I'm yeah. questioning why you... <clears throat> didn't, uh, question, uh, questioning why you didn't uh, use it then. I only have one more slot. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. <laughs> Did you go to a community college? <laughs> Essentially. They're great institutions. We donate to them generously. Yeah. yeah, but like fifth level dimension door doesn't mean anything. So it's just a waste of it. I thought you had fly or something. Well, I also have fly, but I don't want to waste the slot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so well for securing my future with that trust fund. Yes. I, because this uh, would yeah. not be navigable yes. for this me. Is, this, is one of, this is the future I didn't want for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You have a good dad. <laughs> I do, yeah. I, you're a pretty great uh, dad, too. I'm sorry your weird blood baby is dead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's for the best. <laughs> There's always more blood, so... Yeah. Let's pop through this door. Can we, can we get in? Yeah, okay. I say, I'm going to go in. And <laughs> so, so, <clears throat> as you say this, Omen, yeah. you realize, and you've had this feeling before, there is this sudden quietness around you. Me and, personally? And everyone you, suddenly looks like they're frozen. Ow. And God damn it. You no no one else hears it, but you hear a very distinctive little pop right right next to you. And standing there is your infernal intern yeah. tiny team. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 
Hello, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, um, I got your um, message, but I, I didn't want to respond to it. I've been, <laughs> I've been trying so hard to get back to you, sir. Mm -hmm. But the wards on this prison made it oh so difficult. Yeah, I can only imagine what that must have been like for you. You, <laughs> should, you should try living in the prison for a while, full of bizarre doppelgangers your uh, sister made. Well, it was so delightful, sir, of your daughter to break the wards along with your friends so that I could rejoin you. When, when, he, when, he, when he says daughter, it stops being a joke. Mm. Ah. We love it when you're serious, sir. <laughs> <laughs> I have just a simple suggestion. As I know, you're wanting to get to the roof lickety split. My suggestion is, why don't you Take some of these blood samples with you. Wouldn't it be a shame to let all these potential clones go to waste? No. <laughs> I, honestly, uh, Mr. Team, I, I, I think that it's the best possible scenario. If you're looking to get long-term value out of this investment, this can't be the problem. You want to apply me to much larger scale problems. This is just, I'm just telling you this is a friend. Larger scale? Absolutely. Our Lord imagined that perhaps these clones could be used to infiltrate governments all over the world. Yeah, I bet he does. I bet that is the sort of thing that he thinks about. Oh, he does think about many things down there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think that that's probably, I think that that's probably not going to happen. Oh, what a pity, sir. Yeah. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. Do you... <laughs> sir, do you by chance have my little cap? Uh, I think that I do, actually. Yeah, I... No. <laughs> <laughs> I lost it. Go, go ahead and make a charisma deception check. Okay. Here we go. Fuck. It's like I picked up the dice like something good was going to happen. <laughs> I know that that's not true. Oh. I know you have it, sir. <laughs> Which, can you describe it for me? I have a lot. I, started, I got into hats. I got super into hats. <laughs> it's like sticking out of your pocket. <laughs> Very clear. I got super into hats. Like I'm, I'm like, I'm like, like when a new hat drops, I'm like, I try to get in. It's like six in the morning, but it's like, I get, I try to get. I got a couple good hats. He he closes his eyes for a moment, and then reopens them. And for a split second after he reopens his eyes. His sort of innocent looking eyes oh. instead are red with sort of ca with cat like pupils, but then that fades away and he goes back to looking almost like a regular child. Uh, and he says, Based on the view I just had through the hat's eye, I think you have it back there. I reach back and I get the hat. And I'm like, oh, this hat. <laughs> is this the one that you want? Yes, sir. And I can do so much better work for your business. Interesting. With that cap. Well, here. Let me put it on you. Oh, please do, sir. He, he bends his wild red hair in front of you. Here, I just, here, let me do it. Thank you. I just, you know, when you get back down there to that motherfucker you work for, I want you to tell him to eat shit. 
and I banish him. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Pop is not messing around no more. No. That's why you call him daddy. No. <laughs> I'm not going to because that shit's weird. It's weird. Yeah. You made it weird. We don't support that. <laughs> now, does he get a saving throw? Uh, well, it says that I attempt to send them. The, the saving throw, it would be a charisma 16. All right. If he doesn't go, work. it's going to be so bad. It has to work. Please. There is that familiar, and he is gone. And just like the last time you banished him, the hat flutters to the right. <laughs> I take the hat. No, I need to keep a hold of it. I have to keep... God, no, I don't. I just need to get rid of it. Ah. Uh, was that a hat? Let me eat that hat. No. <laughs> no, any hat but this. And the rest of you, all you just witnessed was Omen looked distracted for a moment, and then you heard him saying those final words about a hat, and there was a faint smell of brimstone in the air. Ugh. Yeah. What is that? It's sewage. It's gross. That did you, did, you, did you break wind? No, no, that... no. It's, no, it's these, old, it's these old prisons. It's very, yeah. It's, it's the prisoners. Cool. Well, no, no, it's not <laughs> them. No, it's no, they're fresh. Okay, good, good. They're Making absolutely, sure. they're fresh to death. I, what I'm saying is that over here is that it's, it's pipes and stuff. I mean, ultimately, yeah. I mean, I guess it's a second order effect of prisoners being biological creatures. Can I yes. excite that? <laughs> Do I get advantage because he's my dad? Yes. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> I needed it. I needed it. Okay, so that gives me a 19. You can tell he is definitely omitting a very important piece of information about what he just experienced. Omitting. Om <laughs> that was fucking great. Dad joke cuts me to my core. <laughs> the slice. The slice. Uh, this is why I went through an emo phase. Mm -hmm. So, so you, so you have extracted the information. You know that that's not true. I'm, I'm giving you the look that we've established from like. I, I, I did fart. <laughs> So, obviously, I work with these people. It's, you know what I mean? Like, getting, getting my spot blown up uh -huh. by my own kid, like, in front of professionals. Like, right. thanks for that. But, um, yeah, yeah, I, I uh, shit a little bit. <laughs> but, but it's fine. I have, <clears throat> I have Create Water. I mean, it's like, <laughs> it's not a big deal. Uh, Dad? You know all those times you blamed it on the dog? I knew it was you. We, we didn't have a dog. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what gave it away. Right. Yeah. So I just don't see why you'd admit to it now. But uh, we'll uh, deal with it later uh, in private. It will be a family moment. And uh, I'll grill you about it oh. ruthlessly. I, uh, or I'll I, tell mom. I, uh, so, and uh, she'll definitely get it out of you. Yeah. Uh, my, my question is, why do your farts smell like brimstone? Yeah. Well, you OK? It's keto. <laughs> I got you. I'm trying to, you know what I mean? Yeah, like for yeah. the holidays, I'm trying to like... Got you. The cheese does that to me. Well, I'm like, I get it. Uh, and I need to be like, uh, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Evelyn's flying toward a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, there is a loud <laughs> crash up on the roof. Top. Click, click, click. <laughs> Down through the chimney. <laughs> No, and this brings out the dad. I gotta, I gotta turn the dad down. <laughs> no, I, so uh, and, and you no. were just visited by old Nick. That's true. Oh, that's true. There you go. That's true. So, Evelyn and the rest of you heading up, either by magical means. Is anyone gonna scramble up? I'm gonna go through the door, but I need to say bye to Vi first. Bye. I've, I've got to follow Evelyn. I'm on my training to become a paladin, so I'll, I'll see you after this, but. I think I'm going to hit smite today. Yeah, that level. Just let you know. That level. 
So to, to help you, honey, on that journey, and I'll be up there in a minute, because I don't know what they're doing to my Cosmo Hopper, I'm going to help you along. And she gets out this little mechanical-looking cube, Ooh. attaches, splits it in half, attaches one half to each of your heels. Ooh. If you click those, you're going to be able to have mighty leaps. You can probably reach from that window all the way to the roof. Merry Christmas. Then that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Dude, considering, the, considering the bullshit that we already get up to, think about the type of bullshit this is going to I didn't enable. know it was going to happen. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh. I'm going to use this a lot. Honey, it's the least I can do. You saved my life. We are one. By saving you, I've saved myself. Aww. Aww. I'm going to need 10 cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> now, while you all go, go the front way, I'm going to sneak up through the tower and try to surprise them and get into the Cosmo Harbor. So I'll see you up top. Good Hello. luck. Yep. And so, as you all make your way up, either by leaping, Bobby, with your new gift, or passing through a, a magical portal, or flying up, you make your way up to the roof of this amazing prison, and you see that the Cosmo Hopper has crashed Shit. here, and the dragon is soaring downward. What? Out of sight hmm. from here. And you see several other figures now up on top of the tower. You see that mysterious figure right here at this ballista. You also see person you swear is your friend Morgan. Okay. And you also see Bobby Zimaruski. Oh no. Uh -oh. What? And up top you see an unusually large version of Jim Dark Magic. Unusually large? Yes. He, this Jim Dark Magic, is, is several feet taller several? than the Jim you know and is also strangely ripped. He's yoked? So jacked. Man, he looks great. Several feet tall. Is everyone doing keto? Yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> Did I miss that train? I look at there and I say, this is just water retention. This is a creatine thing. <laughs> Don't believe it. He's not stronger than me. And if anyone is wondering how we can tell the two Bobbies apart, this one, see the color of the mohawk? Yeah, mm -hmm. pink and blue. Pink and blue. This one is more blue. <gasps> mm, the evil. <laughs> so are we going to turn yeah, on white like light for the... Yeah, it's for like the... a goatee for a head. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and right, right as you land on the top of Revel's End, this figure at this ballista, pulls the trigger, and for a moment right above it, you see a very strange thing. First, this pink cone of light launches out all over the roof toward your entire group from it, but hovering over the ballista as this happens, you could swear for a split second there was a little pink spectral unicorn. <gasps> and it looks like it's in pain. <gasps> as, no. as this blast comes out, and right as it hits you, I need you to all make a constitution saving throw. Dude, just metagame, like, out of character, you know, OOC, you fucked up now, because this is Horse Girl Supreme. Oh yeah, you know it. This is Horse Girl Supreme. I feel seen. Don't forget your plus five to your saving throws. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh. Good lord. 27. 11. 26. 22. Plus five, so, uh, which one was it again? Constitution. Constitution. So that is 23. So not a bad roll, mysteriously. Yes. 
Omen, Certainty, and Bobby. The three of you see this scene suddenly vanish. Oh, shit. The two of you, as this pinkish light washes over you, you feel queasy for a moment, but you shake it off. But you notice that the three of them are now just standing there, glassy-eyed, and the same pinkish light that just washed over all of you is now glowing in their eyes. And they seem, the three of them, completely inert. And this figure up top says, so, your minds are stronger than I expected. Yes. Even you are <laughs> e able to resist the power despite it being amplified with the unicorn horn. Yeah, yeah. That tracks, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. I'll just have to turn it up. And no! so he begins cranking the ballista up. We'll get back to you in just a moment. <laughs> the three of you. This scene faded away. What a comfort. And the this, things seemed bad. <laughs> the, this cold, wintry, snow-swept area with biting winds is suddenly replaced by this cool air, just the perfect amount of humidity, as if the air is slightly sort of caressing you. There is a faint smell of honey in the air. Oh, sweet. And there is laughter all around you, and you realize Finally. you are in a carnival. Ah, oh, thank God. And in this, in this carnival, you see little pixies flying around. You see centaurs galloping Hell by. Yeah. And you see also a large elephant man who looks strangely like your acquaintance, Idu, from the city of Ravnica, yeah. wearing a top hat. And this large <coughs> loxodon says, Welcome to the Witchlight Carnival. Huh. I, I'll immediately look around and say, I feel like there were more of us before. Yeah, there were, but who gives a shit? Listen, now, certainty. When you were eight, what did I say? I was going to take you to the Feywild. Yes. I was going to take you to the Feywild. Couldn't do it. I got a little bit busy for 30 years. Yeah. But Work uh, kept rescheduling work. it. Does this mean you're finally going to buy me the ears? Do we're I get the ears? And we're going to get the photo? We are going to do the whole thing. Yes. We're going to do all the thing. I got the, uh, the haste pass. <laughs> and so oh my God. Uh, I have set up a week. A week. We're gonna ride. We're gonna ride that fucking elephant guy. Oh my god! We're gonna yeah. do the whole. We're gonna do the whole fucking thing. You deserve it. Thank you. Deserve you. It. I've been working so hard. Me, you know what? You deserve it. All right. Let's get it. I'm so excited. I, I'm watching this in awe because we were just in a very dangerous situation, and now the the tempo has changed drastically. Do yeah. not be worried. They have the best turkey legs here. Oh yeah. Our, our friends that that might be about to die. Evelyn, I'm, I'm, she's my mentor. You know I'm, what? I'm her. thinking what's happening is they didn't have the fast pass. Exactly right. And here's the thing. Yeah. You gotta have you that because otherwise you're, they're probably still in line outside. You have to have it, and they're gonna they are gonna copper and gold you the whole way through here. Mm. Yeah. If yeah. you okay. again, I'm not, I'm not from here, so I. Well, no, I no. I mean, and there's no reason that you should know this, but let me tell you what: you have come with the right family. We're gonna do this fucking thing. We're from the window to the wall, like uh. this whole thing. You know what? Listen. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta show him. We gotta is, show him how they do it out here. Is there, is there cheese at the, at the concessions? Oh, they have fondue fountains. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm Gucci. Let's no. go. Have you, it's like a waterfall. Yeah. But cheese. So, yeah. I that's think it. Larry would understand. Yeah. No question. No Lathander. question. <laughs> did, did someone whisper? Lathander? Is it? Yeah. No. No. I don't think. I don't think that's a real guy. I told you. I think that's like her high school boyfriend or something. Listen. <laughs> Evelyn, my heart is breaking for Evelyn. 
I'm flipping through notes to see if... You know what? If, yeah. he's, if he's real, I'm sure they have one of those people in costumes here, and you could take a photo with him oh. or get, yeah. get his autograph, no, it's a, the fake anything. autograph in a book. It's, yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Perfect. And then, and then here's, here's the other tip. Here's the other tip. Here's the other tip. The other Faywell tip. Just tell them it's your birthday. They don't know. Yeah. <laughs> they don't know, and they show you a great time. So here Can we you go. pay for my school, too? This is, he's oh. doing... It's amazing. Yeah. I, everything I know I learned from him. That's it. The bad That's stuff it. too. Here, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't fuck with it. All right, so, here we go. Let's get it. A pixie in a shower of flower petals appears next to you and yes. says, Did somebody say birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I put up my pinky for a tiny high five. Mm-hmm. That's it. We're part of the birthday brigade. Bobby's our birthday boy. Yeah. And I press to digitate like the words birthday part or birth Bobby's birthday brigade. It gets it gets mixed around. Yeah, and then it's right. Yeah. At the end it's good. Bobby's birthday brigade. Can I yeah. tell you guys something that'll be yes. real? I've Absolutely. never had a birthday party. This is it. This is a lot for me. This Well, I was just gonna say, you know what? Maybe yesterday that was true, Bobby. Maybe yesterday that was true. It ain't true anymore. <laughs> I come love on. you guys. Come on, come on, get in here, get in here. I, I hug both of them and pick them, sorry, both up off the ground and spin around in a circle. I'm so no, happy. No, it's fine. This is, one, this is the day you can do this. That's fine. You can do this the one time. Birthday, birthday, <laughs> birthday, birthday. It's just gold, coins, <laughs> statuettes, idols. And as you spin us around, I whisper in here, I say, now, this is your one chance. You got to take this pixie for everything she's worth. <laughs> No, right. I say, you have to wring her out like a fucking washcloth. <laughs> bad better, devil, bad devil. You okay. better play that birthday fiddle. You better say, oh, it's my birthday. I always wanted a cheese fountain and a free T-shirt. Okay, just, just like that? Yeah. And yeah. It's wanted... my birthday. I've always wanted a cheese fountain and a T-shirt, please. <laughs> yes. Like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cry a little bit. I give him bardic inspiration. Yeah. <laughs> No, He's the lights orphan, go off. You know? One light, the, the beam of light. <laughs> Microphone. Pachow. Tiny fairy, my one true friend was taken from me. And now I have nothing. I've come from nothing. I was about to die. My female acquaintance almost died today. And now I am here at your fair to have my first birthday party. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's and then, right. Then I, yeah. I, I look back and I ask him, was, was, that, was that good? That was brilliant. All right, thanks. <laughs> A swarm of pixies descends on you. They give you a little crown. Relevant. <laughs> Relevant. They, they put a button on your chest that says, birthday boy. Yeah. And then 10 of them in another shower of flower petals appears and they are carrying toward you on a platter what appears to be a cheese fountain. Yeah. It's the king of the spring. We got this. <laughs> I never want to leave this place. And you don't have to. I'm here forever. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And so a great warrior was lost. <laughs> I'm just in the corner just eating this you incessantly. Just turn the fountain upside down. <laughs> ah. And as you start eating the cheese that the fairies brought you, No. We can't have nice things. No, can't don't we? don't take this from it's us now. Birthday. We need this. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. 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 The Loxodon says, <laughs> "It's interesting you said you'll never leave here." <laughs> yeah, this place is great. What are you talking about? <laughs> have you never heard of fey gifts? I have. And the risk of eating food in the Feywild? I have. 
Well, good. Happy birthday. <laughs> Drown it. Drown all of those feelings. Drown all of those thoughts in liquid brie. We're here now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back on the roof. Wow. Sure wish we were at a carnival right now. No one is. And then, yeah, just like blinking hard. Are, are they pink yet? No. Okay, you, no, no. Not, not yet. What's he doing? He's still winding it Morgaine up. Morgane has her bow trained on the two of you. Bobby has a javelin out, ready to hurl it. Jim is twirling his two wands through his fingers in a way that you've never seen even your Jim accomplish. Big Showboat. Jim. <laughs> Big Jim. Big Jim. Not Slim Jim. Mm -mm. And, and the figure up at this ballista, as he's cranking it up, says, it would be far better if you just give in and go where your friends are. Is there still a unicorn in pain over there? Yes. Well, clearly, that is Evelyn's priority. She's just gonna, is that 30 feet? Can I get to it? Close enough. Great. <laughs> I am going to interpose myself. Well. First, how is the unicorn being restrained? So the unicorn looks like almost like a ghost that is hovering oh, spirit. over it. And you, particularly because you are now examining this intensely, you see that on the very top of the ballista, there is an amethyst that glows each time the unicorn sort of flinches uh, in pain. Uh, but the, the unicorn looks almost like a ghost or some kind of phantasm. But whatever it is, it is connected to this device. Can I, can I switch weapons, or is that going to cost me some action time? You're, we're not in initiative yet, unless okay. you want to plunge into initiative. No, I have, all, I have just an armory behind me, so it's just a sword goes in, battle axe comes out, chum, chum, and I'm going to just try to use my first attack with my magical battle axe to smash that amethyst. All right, for that, we are going to need to go into initiative. OK. So for the two of you, go ahead and roll initiative, while the three of you are entirely at peace. Oh, man, this, this, is, this is the best game yet. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, this has been a real experience. 14. Real 14. 13. 13. So you are trying to break that crystal and mm -hmm. free this mm -hmm. trapped spirit. Because okay. clearly, that is the most important thing happening right now. Evelyn, you go first. No! 13? But it's an amethyst. It can't really dodge. So you hit it, but the man at the ballista jerks it slightly to the side as you come in, so your weapon strike hits the ballista itself and not the amethyst. Ahem. <clears throat> I try again. <laughs> That's better. Now we're talking. 25. To hit. Assuming that hits. That hits. Great. Awesome. Um, that's going to do 11 radiant damage. And... Somebody mentioned Snuggie. Snuggie. Plus 1d4 radiant. You hear voices radiant. from down in the prison about Snuggies. <laughs> Uh, that's 15 radiant, and I, Evelyn has a lot of experience with this battle axe. How much does she feel like it probably takes to break an object? A regular object you could smash pretty easily, but if this is magical, and it appears to be, magic objects are harder to destroy than your everyday thing. I think I'm still going to... Yeah, I'm going to add a Divine Smite to yeah, that. Yeah, just go all in. Yeah, right? I'm going to do it. So, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. we've just changed our level, so give me a second. I want to make sure that I have what I think I have. I don't think I have improved Divine Smite anymore. So, that's just going to be 2d8. It's the supply chain. Yep, 2 
and one. Those sucked. <laughs> Three more. So what was the total? I forget. <laughs> what about see, on, like, the was, string of the... Probably was, 34 is what I counted. I wrote six plus five is 11, 15 plus three is 18, meridian. All right, there, there is a cracking sound as you bring down not just your muscular might, but your divine might as well. And you can see a crack appearing on this magical amethyst, but it doesn't quite break. <sighs> uh, as this happens, the three of you yeah. at the carnival, the sky, the sky gets dimmer for a moment, mm. and then brightens ah. back up. All right. Yep. I mean, it happened. False alarm, right? Yeah, I've seen that in some of the reviews. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great place. Oh, my God. Yeah, absolutely. Evelyn and Kithras. Yes. Evelyn up there, the figure behind the ballista. You fool. This is a crucial test. If we are able to get this device to work on you, the models for the clones, we will be able to use the magic of it to control the clones produced here on the entire planet. See, that know. isn't something that's motivating for me. No. <laughs> that is because you do not have the vision of the League of Malevolence. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Even looks like, yeah, I need a League of Malevolence. Okay, here and, we go. And as, as he says this, his appearance suddenly fades away, and you see before you this wizardly-like figure wearing a black robe, a long white beard, pointed ears, long pointed eyebrows, and you have seen him before in Wanted posters. It is a notorious sorcerer named Kellek. And, Kellek. And you, Evelyn, particularly because of your love of unicorns and horses sure and other like creatures, know that he is notorious for kidnapping unicorns and stealing their horns. She looks like, Evelyn rarely looks dark, but she gets the full like eyes looking up, you. <laughs> this is her devil. Yeah. <laughs> This is the worst. And as you say that, he now takes his turn and fires the ballista. <laughs> and so I need the two of you to make another constitution saving throw. Am I in the way of it, though? Because I was hitting it. So you actually are taking it full in the face. <laughs> so <laughs> You're gonna, drinking from the fire hose. I'm going mean, I'm I'm to think... give Kathris advantage on his saving throw. Because you're taking so much of a <laughs> unicorn horn energy. Just wham! Ha! Bring it on. Bring it on. Right. This is going to help. What we got here? We got garbage. Oh, and here we are. A, uh, oh, yeah, that's 17. <laughs> Don't forget your plus five. Oh, it's, it's 17 plus five. It's 22. You said constitution saving, right? Uh -huh. 15? Oh, no. Well, welcome no. to the car. Join us! <laughs> welcome to the jungle. I've let the unicorns down. And so suddenly, Evelyn and Kathris appear next to you in the carnival. <gasps> yeah. What are Jeez? you doing? We're at the carnival. They gave us free cheese. It's my, it's my birthday. Yeah. But don't tell them it's really not my birthday. No, no. It's, yeah, exactly. But for yeah. The, as far you as are you lying know, in a fake carnival while we're busy fighting a unicorn killer? Is that not what Larissa would want? Lathander. Lathander would want? Hey. No. Oh. We yes, were Drake. just talking to a really cool guy. And now we're here. And I don't think he was done talking yet. I Lathander, don't like what he had to say, but I was willing to hear him out. Lathander well, does love when we're happy. Yeah, I'm very happy. Exactly. But, but when we're happy because of lies, are we really happy? Yes. Y yes. Isn't happiness just <laughs> lying to yourself? Yeah. It's the Existence nature of, of reality. Yeah. Thank you. yeah. I would say that happiness is a pie that we make out of lies. You're right. I do like pie. Well, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what, listen. Here. And love is perpetuating the lie. Exactly. Bald man. Love is two people choosing to believe the same lie. <gasps> what? 
Almond, you think love is a lie? No. <laughs> well, well, what? <laughs> well, because just now you said, because you said that love was like believing in a lie, so I thought maybe that you didn't think that love was, was true. Uh, maybe I'm just... Maybe I'm just so thoughtful here in this carnival <laughs> space. Maybe it's made me think about a lot of things. Maybe it's made me think about the man I want to be and who I want to be with. Oh, that's beautiful. I, I, was, I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> I, I'm overrun with guilt now, and I call the fairy over. Fairy, fairy, fairy! It's... It, yes? I'm, I'm sorry, but it's not actually my birthday. I've just... I've never had a party and I saw an opportunity to have one, and, and I, I, I want to say I'm so sorry. I can't get back the cheese. I already ate a lot of it, and I can feel it rumbling already in my stomach, but I'm sorry. Lysander would be so proud. That is called fumbling the bag. Yeah, the cheese bag. Yeah. Not to worry. Your story is so sad. We're happy to make you happy. Aww. So you can be. And at this, she touches your button, and you see that the words change. An unbirthday boy. <gasps> oh. And I grab them again. I, I, I grab everyone Yay. now. Yay. <laughs> unbirthday. 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 See? Come on. Isn't telling the truth great? It is. Wow. Praise be to law, man. Law, <laughs> Thander. <laughs> Salamander. <laughs> All right, now, now, Kathris, I understand that there was a, a cool man, but this is a man who is also an elephant for some reason. <laughs> Doesn't this bring you joy? Isn't that a surprising combination of features? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can surprise me. Every time I think we found something interesting, it's just something that has tentacles on it. <laughs> Yawn. This whole carnival is a lie, and you are all given... Oh, cotton candy. <laughs> anyway. You know, Uncle Cuthris, they have yeah. a mountain, and you can bobsled up it. Up yeah. it? Up it? <laughs> yeah, and down it. You go up and down. That's the magic. You know I'll what? try them both. They say people die in there. Yeah. If you put your hands up, you come down without them. Yep. You leave them for the mountain. Mm -hmm. Promise? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you go find out? All right. <laughs> Here we go. So what are we going to do? I mean, we set everybody else up. I know. Um, Evelyn um, is, like, really, really fighting because she's like, I always wanted to come here, and there's the ears, and we could have taken a picture, but we have things to do, and there's a unicorn that's suffering. I would like to leave, please. <laughs> and when you say this, there is a gust of wind over you and there is a swirl of flowers and a smell of honey in the air. And as the flowers fade away, standing in front of you is the most lovely young woman who has the same pinkish skin as the unicorn. <gasps> she has brilliant pink hair slightly pointed ears, a beautiful gown, and she says to you, thank you for wanting to leave. <gasps> You're welcome. I think you almost freed me. <gasps> You're a unicorn? I am. <laughs> You're so pretty. Oh, thank you. <gasps> Certainty, I think this is an influencer. <laughs> I bet she has a lot of followers on the gram. I'm guessing that's how you found your current. Oh, yeah. Your current. Oh, yeah. yeah she's yeah. big on witch. Yeah. <laughs> she, she has a single tear that emerges oh, from no. each eye, and they in perfect symmetry go down her cheeks, and she says, I've waited 
for a pure soul like yours. We're never getting Evelyn, out of here. Evelyn can't no. help herself. She reaches up and just wipes one tear, then wipes the other. And now in each of your hands, you have a diamond. <gasps> wow! Do you want these back? They are for you. Thanks. She tucks them away. I have been aware of each of you, except for you. She looks at you, certainty, with some puzzlement. <laughs> yeah, I don't really do the whole social media thing. It's a waste of time. I am on LinkedIn, however. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's not like a rise and grind thing. Yeah. The evil Kellek took me and others of my herd and made us, tortured us, to use our magic in service to that drawn enterprises. And I, who was gifted with the ability to give people illusions of joy, have been forced to use my magic to manipulate people's minds. I did it on each of you at their command a year ago, around Yuletide. Perhaps you remember strange dreams of all the horrible things you have done, sir. <laughs> Ooh. <coughs> um, uh, you, you're going to have to be more specific. And also, I'm going to need a specific time range because it, it was around the solstice, and three spirits came to you and spoke to you about the various evils you have done, the evils you might do. That was real? Oh, yes. That was one of Drawn Enterprise's first tests. They have been testing this magic on the prisoners of Revel's End for over a year, perfecting it so they can then broadcast this illusory magic across the whole realm and control minds, starting with the clones that are being manufactured in this very facility. Evelyn has gotten closer and closer to this person as they're speaking. Now she's like, is there anything we can do to help? Like right here. <laughs> you must break out of this illusion. There are ways out. There are methods of pulling the thread of the magic, tearing apart the veil and emerging from it. Ways that Kellek has not yet discerned. Much of this is a mix of my own memories, for I was kidnapped by Kellek from the Witchlight Carnival, my beloved home. And so some of it, what you see is me, but some of it, like that strange elephant man, comes from your memories. And so, you must find a way, perhaps, by achieving victory and contests here in this carnival. Mini games. Mm -hmm. To be allowed admittance to the secret grove. For I've been told that if a mind trapped within this place can be fueled by a sense of victory, you will enter in the, the secret grove and find the doorway that will take you back to your world. Will you come with us? I would love to, <gasps> but I am trapped in the amethyst that you tried to free me from. If you can break it, I will be free. <gasps> and then we could like hold hands or something? <laughs> I would love that. <gasps> oh, we're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I say, well, I mean, let, let me go down my list of skills. Let's, let, let, let's just break it down. Bobbing for apples. I've never not come up with an apple. For me, I, I'm batting a thousand percent on the apple bobbing game. So I don't know if that's one of them here, but I, I'm ready to, I'm down to clown. I can it hit the thing that... Now, well, okay. 
Good. I, I can hit the, the thing that makes the boop, boop, ping, the, the yep. strength thing. So we're, we were looking for the boop, ping. Just direct us to it, and um, we're going to boop it, and it's going to ping. Yeah. I will now ah. summarize for you. Oh. And you, you see now that this Loxodon doesn't just look like Edu, it is Edu. Uh, he's, he's our friend. From Ravnica. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and as the unicorn woman said, apparently pulled from your subconscious. Mm -hmm. And so, if you want to prove yourself here in the Witchlight Carnival, you have a number of contests you may test yourselves against. First is, as you call it, the boop ding. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite. Yeah, yeah. Next, we have, and I have a feeling based on all the fey food you have already eaten, you will be especially pleased. The cheese eating contest. <laughs> I mean. Dude, you have Ooh, trained for he, this your he, whole life. Your boy's stuck here already. No, you can't coach this. Let's do some it's damage. Like, it's a natural. You must not just eat. No. Well. A mighty sum of cheese. But you must consume more than our reigning champion. And he gestures over toward, you thought they were just trees and flowers, but suddenly the trees and flowers are pulled apart like they were curtains. Oh, shit. And behind, with, in front of a mountain of cheese, you see a hulking ogre. And so, if and only if you can consume more than him, you will gain the victory. Next, we have a poetry contest <gasps> for those of you inclined to weave music and magic with words. And if you like to use your your dexterous qualities, you may participate in the Almirage ring toss. <laughs> Are you going to be able to toss the ring onto those adorable little unicorn rabbits' heads without harming them? Mm -hmm. It's soft. They're, they're, the rings are soft. Can you guess the number of feathers on a cockatrice? That is another one of our <laughs> contests. So I'll do the cheese one. Uh, I mean, I mean, I, f I feel like I might might be better suited for that. But I mean, if you're confident, show me that hammer. Yeah. <laughs> That's only five. What are the other two? There are more. Can you catch the trail of a baby dragon? Oh. And last but not least, can you win a wrestling match with goblins? Easy peasy. Let me run that one too. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Is it always one on one? Only one contestant can participate at a time. And how many do we have to win in order to leave? I think each of us need to win something. Does each person leave once they win? Leave? What do you mean by that? Oh. Uh. At this, the unicorn woman leans into you. They do not know. Oh, I see. The occupants of this carnival think it all real. You will know when you have achieved enough victories. Okay. Will, will, a question. Will we, once, if we win any of these, will we feel as though we have won? <laughs> like an overwhelming <laughs> sense of victory? Very important question. Yeah. Like a, that would, might transport one having won the contest. I, I hope so. It's good enough for me. Yeah. All right, well, here, let's, let's break it down. I mean, I feel like we've got some, uh, there's some aptitudes, I think some natural aptitudes in the squad we can apply to some of these. I mean, obviously the cheese thing, I got that under control. I, um, I normally don't speak up, but I, I really feel like we're missing the mark on this one. I love... I love cheese. Well, some cheese. 
It depends on what kind of cheese it is. I, I might not do super good. Therein lies the issue. Yeah, I guess that's Gouda, right. Gouda, American, Colby Jack, I got this. He's an expert. Uh, I'll take one of the three, but oh, God. I feel like, I don't know, guessing cockatrice feathers, that seems like some stuff that you'd learn in school. Do you think you could do that? I mean, m maybe I would um, honestly leave the bird watching to my dad. Um, <laughs> you know? Uh, well, what do you want to do? I kind of want to stay here because I've kind of <laughs> been waiting for this for 19 years. Yeah. Yeah. Here, you know what? So you guys, why don't you guys handle some of these tasks? And we're just gonna we're just gonna take a look at some of the stuff that's going on around here. Take a look at the gift shop. We're gonna get special presents for everybody. So I've got a question. So so none of this is real. Is that what's happening? Well, apparently, Omen doesn't think that saving a unicorn is important. So I guess that that we have to just well, so, no, it's so not, you know what, yeah. what, what's happening to our to our real thing. bodies yeah. right now? Because you guys oh you I don't know got here. That's you, a good question. You guys just kind of were standing there like this. Oh, cool. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So I think we should probably hurry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Listen to you. Yeah. Absolutely. So, absolutely. So the cheese thing, you talk me into it. Um, Great. Thanks, boss. As far as the the boop ding, I mean, I don't want to get in the way. It isn't that I don't revere a majestic unicorn. I want to be honest. It's that I want to make sure that we're putting the right person on the right task. Well, and you want to spend time with certainty. Absolutely. Certainly. If you will. Don't say your fucking name again. Um, you put an L-Y, put an L-Y, <laughs> sir. I take it back. Thank you. <laughs> what, oh, do, do we have the use of our magic in this space? I, I will attempt a, a mage hand just, as an, just to see. It works. Okay, okay. Uh, the only difference is the, the fey quality of this place causes the mage hand to have sort of a rainbow hue <gasps> oh, and boy. glitter is, is sprinkling off of it. Oh, God, I didn't Ooh. do that. Oh. Nice. Horrifying. <laughs> Nightmare. Uh, in that case, what I want to do is, uh, if let me handle this uh, feather guess. But um, what I am going to go ahead and do is, is invoke, uh, as a ritual, unseen servant, and then command uh, them to go over and count the number of feathers. <laughs> Great. Smart. And then bring Smart. the answer to me. Mm -hmm. That's using your noggin. Mm -hmm. Well, it's using its noggin. True. It's using whatever noggins are available it's, to you. It's using a noggin that you made. Yeah. Yeah. I think we got there. Yeah. Yeah. Your, your unseen servant wanders off to dutifully count every one of those feathers. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the power. <laughs> <laughs> and the cockroach just puts up with it. <laughs> every feather being lifted, it's just. just yeah, you just, you just <laughs> see some being raised up at certain times. Yeah, it's like, certain tufts. Yeah. It's like it, stop motion animation. It's a little wobble. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah. It is like a breeze is blowing through it's the cage. Uh, and yeah, you see the sort of nice ruffle. Your unseen servant is gentle. Aw. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cockatrice pecks at something occasionally, but the counting continues. <laughs> so while the count is going on, what are the rest of you doing? I am preparing for my cheese eating competition, and I'm pretty sure that I've got some sort of magical leaf in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going, I'm, 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 I'm preparing oh, shit. for battle as all this is happening. Oh, shit. So you are going to take a bite out of the, the leaf from the world tree. Mm -hmm. We're going straight in. We're not even, we're going manual on this. <laughs> bite the leaf. Yeah, exactly. Give me a wisdom saving throw. I would, I would, I would hate to. Sure. And this, this is, this is an inception situation because you are in an illusion and about to go into a hallucination. <laughs> With a negative one wisdom. All right. <laughs> Please don't melt into the couch again. Please. Is this saving? We're still next to each other, so you get plus five oh, if it's saving. That's, 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 yeah. I follow you, Larry. Yeah. Let the hander, let's go. 
So, so 10 but plus, the plus 5, that's 15, yeah. and that's a good roll. Historically. So you, you are able uh, to experience the magic of the world tree without sinking into the lawn around you. And you, you even retain your sense of presence here in this illusory witchlight carnival. But you feel tingly all over. Do I happen to see my little friend? Because this is all from our memories. You oh, interesting. Do in Aww. <laughs> there we go. That's my man. Dude, you want we that do, back up? We do our secret handshake. <laughs> bump hips. I pick him up, and then we hug. Aww. Buddy. Hey, man. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's been too long. Yeah. And what's Edu doing here? I, I, I have no clue. When I'm you, out of my mind right now. When are you coming back to Ravnica? <sighs> I, maybe soon, maybe never, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I miss you, man. I miss you too, bud. Everything good? I, I'm learning how to control my magic, and Walnut would be happy. We've actually made more grass and trees grow in Ravnica. Incredible. So maybe you could teleport or transport yourself to wherever I am someday. Oh, I'd love that. <laughs> but I think you're really far away. Yeah, you're right, bud. But I'll keep trying. Okay. Thanks, man. And as long as you keep some of the leaf, I'm always with you. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you for a moment feel like you did actually connect with Elm. Yeah, this is, this is great. I feel a lot better, honestly. Me too. Super wholesome. Me too. I, and I shoved also, some cheese just Push some cheese in front of me. Just that test, that calibration cheese? Yeah. Just thanks. Thanks. This is the cheese from Lardo. Thank you. <laughs> you mean Lathander? Lathander. Yeah. And That's you, it. as you take that first bite, you prime the pump. And thanks to thanks to the magic of the leaf, the flavor just yeah. bursts in your mouth. It's immaculate. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, dude, it's... Oh. Oh. This is the best cheese I've ever had in my life. This is that game. Yeah. Elm, Elm. Yeah. Side, sidebar with Elm. Hey, do you have any pants on you? <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you. That's beautiful. Buddy, buddy, I never wear pants. <laughs> I'm a dryad. I'm going to continue to get ready with Elm while everyone figures yeah, out exactly. what <laughs> Just have him, have him hype you up. All right, now, uh, what are we thinking? I mean, obviously, I feel like they have got this well in hand. Yeah. I think it's time for us to taste the fruits uh, of the Witchlight Carnival. Yeah, tea cup red? Yeah. I mean, we love tea. Yeah. Before I go, I'm going to um, lean over to Evelyn and be like, you know what? Um, I heard my uh, my dad uh, is kind of into those uh, fitness grams, you know. Mm -hmm. You've been looking a little nudely lately, but I hope you go out there and I hope you really swing it. And I enhance her ability with uh, Bear's endurance, but I do it in the cruelest way possible. <laughs> but you know, I think you've got it. You know, I feel like he's been into like some of the accounts he's been following. But you know, maybe it's just a phase. Maybe I'll grab it. Oh, oh you know. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I'm well, sure. You know, I'm sure. It's probably. It's you know. He's doing keto. It's probably just a nutrition thing. You know. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Good luck out there. Well, thanks. thanks. And you gain advantage on strength checks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great bard. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Wait, when you came back, I'm like, everything, everything cool. Yeah. I think she's gonna kill it. You know, sometimes you just yeah. need to find the right motivator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's in my book. Yeah. And sometimes you inspire and sometimes you <laughs> conspire. Yeah. As, as certainty walks away, you see like the truest hint of fear in Evelyn's eyes that you've seen in a long time. <laughs> <laughs> so my understanding, at least as far as the teacup rides goes, is that, is that it's really the tenth time in a row that's when you really start to get it. Yeah. Yeah. And I, my, because, I mean, I'm going to put in a good word, obviously. I'm going to pass them a plat. But I don't think they'll make us get off. I think that we can just 
I think Rafe. that we can just go toe to. I was thinking like maybe we could bamboozle them a little and get them to like turn up the speed <laughs> really high too. Okay. All right. Well, here, listen. I'm gonna do the first thing. You do the second thing. Okay. Got it. All right. I go in there. Adam is just like, it's her birthday. <laughs> can we? Did somebody say birthday? They did. They did, little guy. Oh, put it up. Yes. Absolutely. Can, can we just can we just keep going until we don't want to go anymore? Is that fine? It's like I mean I mean does it, it, it does it seem packed? Like it seem like there's. Do you have a ticket? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, what does that? What would that look like? Well, you have to go out to the front of the carnival, but since you're a birthday girl, the first ride is free. <sighs> Here, you know what? You get you warm this thing up. I'll be back. Okay. And and there is another burst of flower petals as several pixies appear. Oh, and yay. they put a birthday girl button mm -hmm. on you, mm -hmm. and they put a crown on your head. Yeah. Oh, and that's trashy. It. <laughs> <laughs> it's cheap. And they, ooh. I see her toss it, and I pick it up, and I put it on, uh, on Elm's head. Hey, that's it. If it doesn't come from Tiffany's, I don't wear it. <laughs> yeah. Tourmalines. Let's just go down the list. I mean, it's got to be those precious gems. Um, so, I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to head out to the front and try to try to master Fay bureaucracy. I guess <laughs> I need these passes and I need them fucking yesterday. Now, certainty. While he's going to get a ticket, do you want to take your free ride? Yes. All right. You go out into these. Some of them are teacups. Some are swans. Mm -hmm. uh, one is a big bear-like creature, and it looks like you lie on its stomach. Oh, that uh, one. And so, <laughs> all right. Yeah. That Fotoro? I'm into it. Yes. <laughs> Loved watching those movies with my so, dad. So, I climb on. So as you climb on the Fotoro, <laughs> uh, it, along with everything else, starts spinning faster and faster and faster. I'm going to need you to make a strength saving throw <laughs> <laughs> to see if you can hold on to the Fotoro's chest. Fifteen? Oh, I'm liking it. You manage to hold on to that super plush fur, and the, the creature that you're holding on to actually giggles when you grip it, and you realize it's not a ride. <laughs> 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 and as that sinks in, uh, we, we go to the ticket booth. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right, absolutely. I say, listen, I don't know who I need to talk to, but we have got a Birthday girl situation. Um, did somebody say birthday? They did, but it's it's not. Put put your dick back in. <laughs> well, they did. They did say I said it, but it was it's about someone who is not here. We don't got to do the whole fucking thing. Listen, here's the deal. Your mouth is filthy. <laughs> Thank you. So here's here's the story. All right, here's the situation. Obviously, I'm the parent. We're on vacation. And what I, need, what I need to happen is I thought I had the haste passes set up. Um, I, th I thought I'd planned a whole week of activities. Didn't work out. Um, right now, she is over there taking that, that complimentary first ride. She climbed onto something that I think is actually a real bear. And um, what, what we need is that my understanding is that it's a lot of fun if you do it 10 times in a row. I need the sort of ticketing that is going to enable the best birthday ever. Not my birthday. Keep it in there. Keep it in there. Nope. Is that her on the ride now? It absolutely is. Oh, delightful. We can give you a haste pass. OK. But since you failed to plan ahead, well, okay. like yeah. any good parent well, would. Well, OK, now, you got, honestly, you know what? You got me there. That's, that's true. It will cost you double. Double what? 10 platinum pieces. What in the? And it's not made out of platinum. Your ability to cry for one year. 
<laughs> yeah, deal. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going to get the passes. Yeah. <laughs> what a bargain. Yeah, here, so, yeah here's these. Uh, here's, here's the 10 platinum. Really? Or, or, you agree? Uh, that was the fastest yes I've ever well, gotten. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I'll, I'll be honest with you. You know, any time a person is not around, that's what I do. This is going to save me a lot of time. <laughs> I show him my day planner. There's a lot of crying. See, it's like this. Oh, yeah. we, we have one who agrees. <laughs> and the little tent opens up. What the and, fuck? And coming out is this hunched over green hag. What, are you the tea, are you like the tear fairy? Fucking get in here, let's get it done. <laughs> you better believe it. Pull them out. <laughs> You're doing me a favor here, lady. Can I take the whole eyeballs? Nope, nope. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna need those, but uh, you can have the, the drippy drippy part. Ooh, what about the nasal passages? Uh, let me think about it. I love me some boogers. Well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it shows. Um, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them for now, because the, the fact of the matter is, let me tell you, I got fucking raked over the coals by this pixie, and I need organs to give uh, another fairy for more rides later. So, uh, uh, listen, uh, you might be seeing me again in 10 minutes. <laughs> You're lucky if you just are given organs. Yeah, I, mean, I, guess, that, I guess that's true. I, guess I that's already true. heard about the idiot with you who ate all the cheese. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I already know what that is going to do to him, but if you tell me, then it'll be like a secret we share together. Yeah. Don't, don't tell him. Oh, no, I wouldn't. No, 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 no. But the, the cheese and the cheese contest. Yeah, yeah. It's made out of the past contestants. <laughs> I say, I don't, on, for him, I think that's a plus. So, I mean, that's, that's awesome stuff. But yeah, get these out. I got to do shit. Come on. Ooh, you should come visit more often. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like I said, I mean, you're going to see me again probably 10, so. Uh, be, you know, look at all this, get a sense of what you like, what you don't like, and then uh, we'll, we'll get it squared away. You should come and do business more yeah, often. Absolutely. She gets out a little vial. Okay. Seems fine. And then, with her gnarled claws, Whoa. just quickly pokes your cheek. Ah. And there's a sting. Ah. And just enough for just one little bit of water to come out of one of your eyes. And she suddenly catches Ow. it in the vial. She smells it like wine, mm -hmm. quickly tastes it. It's a minerality. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Such amazing greed and bitterness mm -hmm. inside you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. One year. One year. Now, am I going to feel the feelings we associate with sadness? Or is it just the tears? Oh, no. You'll still feel all the sadness. OK. You just won't be able to cry. Hmm. <laughs> All right, well, that's a, that's, a, that's a problem for future Omen. All right. <laughs> All right, set a clock. I'm going to be back here. Now go have fun. Here we go. <laughs> All right, I come back bedecked, like a bandolier of tickets. It's <laughs> fucking on. We are going to tear this place apart. As the bear that you're on is now roaring, as you two of the two of you are spinning, but we will now go over to the three of you. So, Evelyn. Yeah. Are you ready to do the budding? <laughs> yeah. The the boop ding. Yeah, uh, I think as certainty is walking away and Evelyn's kind of like terrified. <laughs> Kind of, she looks after Omen. She kind of squints and she looks back at the unicorn lady and she smiles. And she looks back at Omen and looks at certainty. And then she looks back at the unicorn lady and smiles. And then she says, "You want to watch me hit something?" <laughs> I think it would be lovely. <gasps> okay. <laughs> she grabs her hand and skips over toward the hammer. I assume. It is a hammer that actually looks like a pig on a stick. Like an alive pig. Oh. That is oinking. Oh, no. I think this hammer is faulty. It seems to be a pig. 
bug report. <laughs> the not Edu walks over and says, Fear not! This is just fey magic! Isn't it funny? Ha ha ha! I look at the unicorn lady, whose name I don't know yet, and I, I say, What's your name? <laughs> the unicorn lady who I brought with me. What's her name? I cannot tell you until you free me. Oh, well, I'll just call you. And she like looks at the diamonds in her pocket. She'll say, my, my diamond. I'll just call you my diamond. Um, diamond. Does this seem weird to you? <laughs> in the Feywild, what exactly is weird? Well, would I be causing pain to this non-existent magic pig that is squealing at the end of this knot hammer? Ah. So, setting aside the fact that this is all an illusion, <laughs> that is just an animate object made to look like a squealing pig. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Edu, yes. Sure, that's funny. Uh, she laughs it. <laughs> and it's... <laughs> um, and then, are there, are there any rules I need to know? Just smash the pig really hard. Oh no. I just skipped to the end in my head. <laughs> I am frantically cheering and cackling at the same time very close to this. Where does the illusion, like, I couldn't smash this pig hard enough to like do it any damage, right? It's just gonna be funny, ha ha, boing. And at this, the unicorn leans in. It's not a pig. It's just a stick squealing like a pig. Like a real pig. <laughs> Should I roll? Go ahead and oh, make a strength athletics check. Oh, this, this is going to be <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Yes, that's correct. Evil and Marthane. So just, strong. Just for reference, with my advantage, well, I guess I don't need the advantage. Uh, with my strength modifier, that's a 25 also. Christ. <laughs> so you, you not only cause the weight to shoot up and hit the bell. Ding. The bell is shattered off, the weight shoots up into the air, <laughs> and the pig explodes. But it has, it has rainbows for blood, right? So there is no blood. Okay. But, but there but are this bones. is the Feywild, and what explodes out of it is freshly cooked bacon. <gasps> that just sprays all over the lawn. Incredible. No, no. Bobby, do not fill up on bacon. I... You're right, boss. <laughs> Keep your game face right. on. It's we great. have our first victor. Please. <laughs> I, I pick up a piece of bacon as a token and I present it to Diamond. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Oh, thank you so much, but. I don't eat meat. Neither do I. I throw it away. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And so you are led to a tent where there are an array of prizes, and it's random, the one that you're going to get. So please roll random. a D4 for me. Ooh. Two. Could not be more perfect. The attendant, a gnome who has bright purple hair and an orange beard, walks out and says, this is your prize. And he hands you a plastic unicorn horn that is filled with candy. <gasps> Yay! Is it one that I can wear? 
like a like a Mickey Mouse ears, like a yes. like a strap awesome. with the candies in. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I strap it on <clears throat> my face immediately. Nom 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 nom. This is it. I would have totally brought one. Yeah. So upset. Yeah. And I, I point to to Diamond. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The gnome also then says, after you've eaten one of the candies, and don't worry, because you rightly won it, there are no side effects from eating that fey food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Speaking of fey food. Mm -hmm. We're here now. Are you ready to eat some cheese? Hell yeah. This is the hour. All the cheese? Yeah, all the time. I am prepared. Give it to me. All right. I would like you to just give me a straight-on constitution check, not a saving throw. This is just, we're going to see how much you can stomach of the cheese. <laughs> Uh-oh. We got Oh, and I forgot, you have advantage. Yes, I do. Thanks to the magic of the, the leaf. leaf. Yes. Thank goodness. Mom always said it was bad for me. I no, didn't see, it. she was wrong. She was wrong about a lot of things. 11 plus 3 is 14. All right. You start chowing, and the ogre is eating as well, and eating and eating, and you just feel like Great. you thought this would be heaven, mm. but you never realized what it would quite be like if the cheese never stopped. Dude, this is the growth arc. And so, I know, I feel it. but you got just enough <gasps> to pass the first phase. Oh, <laughs> multi-phase cheddar but challenge. so many things happening. So it's already taken a turn. And so then they pull what you thought were trees and flowers behind. It turns out they were just a curtain too. They pull it out and reveal a whole second tent filled with cheese. And Edu, who's not Edu, says, and now, phase two. The Gouda. <laughs> and as you prepare for phase two, oh, your unseen servant returns, and then in, in the dirt at your feet, you see it trace a number. Okay. Am I allowed to know the number as the player? Or is that a secret? You are. To be revealed. Oh, okay, fine. You, do, you wa <laughs> do you want me to reveal it? I personally, I mean, any number is good for Kathris, but I'm very curious uh, for my own reasons about a, a, the number of feathers <laughs> on a cockatrice. Like, is it, is it listed somewhere? So this particular cockatrice has a very, very peculiar number of feathers. Hmm. It has 666 feathers. The, the number of the beast? Uh, of what, uh, what I know of uh, these birds, does that seem like a low number? Like what's like the standard deviation? <laughs> <laughs> like if I, if I were to say that number, but is that within the bounds of a guess? <laughs> yes. Okay, okay. You're checking for reasonableness. Yes. Yeah. Because its feathers are quite large. Okay. No, see, right. they're big feathers. That's why. Then I, I approach uh, whoever is manning this booth, uh, and I say, my good friend, I am here to verify a, a data point and win this game. I'm a renowned counter. <laughs> And no well do I all avian species <laughs> and their featherage. <laughs> Prepare to be astounded. Are you ready to accept my guess? We are ready. This is the most difficult contest in the carnival. Really? That's why I was here staring at the bird for a very long time, if you noticed. Watching how the wind moved the feathers. 
how they lay atop one another and accounting for the density of the fluff, I was able to come up with a precise estimate that I think you'll be intrigued by. 666 feathers. You don't say. I did. I'll repeat it, if needed. <laughs> but yes. What a very peculiar number. It is, isn't it? <laughs> and why or oh, why would that be here? I don't know. But the Fae seem to be a, a, a strange and frankly dark <laughs> species. Anyways, 666. Uh, <laughs> well, and with that, let me check my notes. That is the correct number, indeed. We have a winner! God, man, I was worried there for a second. I thought it was going to be a different number. It, it was a pleasure to count them. I had fun just playing. This, you, you notice that the unicorn woman wanders over to you and she says softly enough only for you to hear, I have never heard that as the number before of the feathers. Someone's subconscious here must be affecting it. And at this, she then just looks at Omen. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Almost as if someone's soul had a natural affinity for numbers such as that. I am in business. Gosh, uh, I, I wish I had, like, detect <laughs> good and evil. Well, but I have to take good and evil. What do you need? No. <laughs> <laughs> Kid no. Something very strange has just happened. No. <laughs> you didn't hear this. I know. <laughs> oh, you were about to say, though. Well, uh, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you have a prize to claim. Oh, yes. <laughs> I would love to. And it, it was a D4, as I recall. All right, here we go. That one is a three. So you get a different prize. You are given what looks like a little butterfly-shaped compact with Ooh. makeup in it. Yeah. And, and the gnome says, this is one of my favorites. <laughs> if you apply the makeup, you can make yourself look like anybody. Hmm. That will go well with my mask of many faces. <laughs> at this, at this, Edu says, "Well, you can always give it as a white elephant gift." <laughs> <laughs> So now we know that Edu has kids. Tuck it away. <laughs> Over at the ride, the, the bear uh, has now reached its arms up to enclose them around you. Are you going to let it? Some creepy bear? <laughs> Wait. Whose so, chest you're on? Am, 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 I, am, I, am I back over now? Yes. Or, so, and we, so we're see, riding. We're trying to get to that, that mysterious ride, tenth ride. You see that the ride uh, appears to be alive and is about to give certainty a bear hug. Can I? While spinning around. Can I vibe check this bear? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Give me an insight check. I think my insight six. I'm not gonna lie, my iPad died, so I'm just gonna. I think it's a six. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You, you sense mm -hmm. with absolute certainty, uh, certainty, that, certainty mm -hmm. that this bear is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that this bear 
might be the kindest and most innocent thing you've ever met. Aww. I put my two shanks away. Yeah. <laughs> All right. These can go back in. And so it then just hugs you and then finally speaks. So you don't fall off. Aww. Oh, stab it in the neck. <laughs> no. Gonna go. And I, I, I hear this. I see the spin and I see the hug. And I think I'm going to cry. <laughs> and I get really scared. As this bear hugs me, you see some of the facade of certainty trying to impress your dad fade away. And for a moment, I look like I'm nine again. Oh, so, yeah. You know what? God, it's been a while. It's been a while. All right, well, I, I come over and I say, I mean, is this, I mean, is it, is it, is it what you wanted? Is this, is everybody having fun? Are you having fun, Bear? I always have fun. Yeah, I mean, I guess that, I guess that, I guess that tracks certainty. I mean, is this a, is, I mean, this is a, I mean, it's a consensual ride, I guess. She's like spinning around. Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Answering you in every three seconds. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> this is per <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> Say, well, when you're done here, we ain't done here. You know what I mean? So you just, you write it as long as you want to. I'm going to go over here and write in my journal for a little bit. <laughs> okay. And so the ride just goes and goes and goes, thanks to the, the <laughs> ticket you have provided. Whew. All right, it's working out good. But I'm starting, to, I'm starting to feel a little pecky, but also all the shit here is magic six way from Sundays. Way up the ass. Super cursed food. <laughs> um, and not just the regular type of cursed food that you might get at a fair. Um, I, think, I think we've all had that experience. <laughs> we've all had that one elephant ear too many. And then you face the porta potty of doom. <laughs> yeah. You spend some time in there. And, and as you say that, with a shower of flower petals, a, a pixie appears and says, Did someone say porta potty? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I, oh, God, no. No, I don't. That's. No, no, we're, we're good. Thank you. We're good. When you're ready. Yep, all right. <laughs> What button do you get for that? <laughs> I'm a party pooper. <laughs> That's, raise your hand. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Bobby, are you ready for phase two? Hell yeah. All right. This time, you're going to have to choose how you're going to go about this. Are you going to exercise mind over matter and using just your understanding of how your own body responds Optimize. and use medicine skill to get through this cheese? <laughs> okay. Or are you going to try to just iron stomach it with athletics that sounds like a better move. <laughs> All right. Then give me a roll. All right, come on. Come on, Daddy. Got to get out of here. If I'm the only one that doesn't get out, then I'm not coming back next PAX. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> I won't be booked because I'm dead. Not because I wouldn't want to. Okay. 11 Ooh. plus 9 is 20. Yeah. You might get even better because you still have advantage. That's right. Yes, I do. Because it's the ogre is the problem. I know you got this. Mm. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Don't just disregard that. No. You, the mix of your love of cheese, mm -hmm. just your rock solid constitution, and the leaf, mm -hmm. you power through. And Edu says, and for the first time in weeks, a new champion! Yay! Yeah! 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 <laughs> and praise be to Lathanda! Yeah! I've never been more proud. It happened. It happened.
Now you need your prize. Get it. <laughs> Please, yeah. Round three. <laughs> One. Oh, new prize, new prize. You are given a wand oh. that looks like, fascinatingly, a miniature world tree. <gasps> oh, it's that sprig. It's home. And with it, you think you will be able to do the magic of prestidigitation. Ooh. I don't know what master. that word means. <laughs> Party master Here, is watch. what it means. See, see how I have all this blood on me? Yeah. Wave the wand at me. Mm. All clean. <gasps> the blood is gone. It's that easy. That's great. I've been waiting for yeah. someone to do that. That was disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep it on me just in case. Thanks. It goes in the pocket. There we go. As the third victory is reached, there, was, there is a shimmer in the sky, and the unicorn says, that was enough. We have a rare case, Idu says in response, of Three victors in a row, no failures at all. <laughs> and we all know at the Witcherlight Carnival when we have three victories in a row, no failures, no vomiting, no one turned into stone by the cockatrice, no one eaten oh. by the pig mallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We made I'm a vegetarian. <laughs> we made the right choice, kid. Yeah, yeah, we did. We know that with this constellation of triumph that you will be brought to the special winner's circle where usually children, but we will bring adults as well <laughs> to come to That's enjoy right. yeah. the special show and ride that we have to offer. Hmm. And so there is suddenly emerging from trees and bushes all around you, pixies and sprites and several centaurs come galloping up. They have musical instruments and they play a song as you are led to this beautiful glade with pine trees, oak trees, but all with colored pine needles and leaves that are unusual. You know, the, the oak tree is pink, the pine tree is purple. All seems normal to the folk here in the Feywild. And the trees themselves now, not curtains, and the actual trees bend out of the way for you and you are led into a, a amphitheater, a natural amphitheater where the lawn descends down to a stone circle at the very bottom. And Idu, who accompanied you with the parade, says, and what you will see next is only for victors and their friends and family. And so we shall retreat and leave you to the fruits of your victory. And so at this, Idu and the pixies and the sprites and the centaurs back up away from the natural amphitheater and the trees and bushes close. Does now, Diamond stay with me? Diamond does not hear. Where'd you go? And you two are here, I assume. Mm -hmm. oh. No sign of Diamond. She was just here, I had her hand, where'd she go? I said friends and family. <laughs> <laughs> What game did you guys win? Uh, the Poetry Jam, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, we do it. Oh, you guys would be great at we, that. We murdered them. It was like a 2v2 thing. Good. What, yeah. was, what, was it, uh, what was the poem about? Oh, yeah, tell us the poem. Yeah. The poem was Word about yeah. poetry itself. Uh, yeah, perform yeah. it for us. Yeah. That's smart. Because you just did it. So you yeah, it, it, it was right? a very long ballad. Uh, you know, and we got swept up in the we performance did. of it. Just the you moment know? of yeah. it. Yeah. It was a few bars. Just yeah. like, we were... I, yeah. Um, what, even better, what, what prize did you get for winning the game that you said you won just now? Oh, we... We ate it. All these tickets. Mm -hmm. Look at all these tickets. Whoa. Oh. Hey. A bandolier of tickets. Mm -hmm. oh. Look at these. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Did, would, would you, did you guys not get a bunch of tickets? I got this. 
Oh, that's cool. Yep. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah. also... I, I wanted to leave, so I... Got a stick yeah. or something? I don't want tickets. Please and I thought it. I made a special friend, but now she's gone. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, we all got magical things. Yeah. Well, what did you think of the poem? Oh, did you say it yeah. now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I thought it was great. Thank you. You know, that it was... It was yeah. It's really po poetry in, the, poetry in the Feywild is itself a kind of magic, so... Mm -hmm. I feel it. It'll bamboozle you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know yeah. that bit where I was like, uh, look at Evelyn, wings on her feet. Look at her, she walks like a pimp. But when it comes to Lathander, she's a huge simp. It was like the whole bit. <gasps> well, no, no, no. It was great, and I was like, crazy, feel the light inside you. It was no, amazing. Yeah. And that's where Dad comes in with the it hook. Wasn't, it wasn't exactly like oh. that. It was, it was, it was Chris, different. What's a pimp? I don't listen to popular music. <laughs> Must be something great. Yeah. Thank you. Of course, yeah. It's so fascinating you forgot it almost immediately. <laughs> Omen looks terrified. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> I only have horrible things to say. At this, <laughs> at this, the other side of this amphitheater begins to open up. And the trees, there were also some large boulders, they all begin to move. And walking out from behind the trees is a halfling, very old, wearing a red robe, bald, long white hair. <laughs> and he says, hello, adventurers. <laughs> you have gained access to a special doorway that only the true victors here gain access to. This is an MLM, we're leaving. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can, I can spot this shit from a mile away. Behold, and as he, as he gestures over to the back of the amphitheater and as more and more of the trees part, you see that yes indeed, the victors here gain access to an attraction that Few others get to see at the Witchlight Carnival. You see in front of you an amazing roller coaster. The entrance of which looks like the gaping maw of a dragon. Mm. And arched over that mouth Proclaiming boldly the name of this daring ride, you see the words, Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <clears throat> I like both Dungeons and Dragons. They're both so great. Well, no, it's like, and finally, they're together. I mean, this is, <laughs> this is incredible. This is a chocolate and peanut butter situation. Fear not, he says, if you pass through the ride, you will return to your world of Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> and I will give each of you a blessing. The beguilement that brought you here will never again be able to affect you. It will help you in your battle ahead as you seek to get your company back from those evil forces that have united with your sister to turn a pure drive for profit. This is what I've been saying. Into a Finally. passion for tyranny. Yeah, which we don't like. <laughs> it's a fine line. Yeah. And so I urge you adventurers, as you return to your world, Seek not only to gain your money back, but to set the world right. And perhaps when it is all over, you will return the innocent creature that created this place to her home. Will she be there when we get there? If you free her. 
Then I'll learn her name. Let's do it. Now, you are already adventurers. Otherwise, I would gift each of you a magic item that would give you the ability to take on the powers of mighty adventurers. We could still take a magic item. Yeah, would, that's fine. That is reserved only for the children who make oh. it to the victor's circle. <laughs> Lame. I mean, I'm someone's child. Yeah. So, the I mean, theoretically, I, I am a We child. are all Lathander's children. <laughs> yeah. Lathander is a lovely person. <gasps> he is, isn't he? You know Lathander? We've had tea several <gasps> times. You hang out? Yeah, they kick it. Yeah, this dude kicks it with that, that guy. <laughs> Do you think you could, like, tell him we said hi? Please, I would love an autograph, too. I'm not sure he'll assent to an autograph, but I will gladly say hello to him the next time I see him. Well, Andrew's gonna know we said hi. So cool. <laughs> this is the best day ever. Yeah. I mean, it's had its ups and downs. And it's round and round. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now. Since you are indeed someone's child, though not yet still a child, I will give you a gift. Wait. Okay. I had to work this out ahead of time. Any points? <laughs> for not... I also don't want it to be for nothing that your father gave up crying for a year. What? And at this, he points his finger and a silvery beam of light shoots out and into your hand, you suddenly have a teddy bear that looks just like the bear on the ride. Yeah. Aww. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Old man still got it. I'm very confused watching her cold heart seemingly shatter. Yes. What a savage weapon. I mean, it doesn't... <laughs> Seems like we easily all could have gotten a bear. I mean, yeah. I just <laughs> got a blood one. Uh, I love a plushie. You know, yeah. holding this, it's a lot more useful than crying. Crying never got anybody anywhere. Yeah, that's. And, uh, okay. This is going to make me cry enough for both of us, so, uh, you got to return on you your gotta, investment. You gotta, kid, you got to, you got kid, you got to cry for two. What else can you give up? <laughs> <laughs> Second one with a bow? Yeah. Yeah. Well, next time we come to the Feywild, uh, yeah, yeah, next you know what next I mean? Thanks. Yeah. Thank it's you. a loyalty program thing. <laughs> it'll, be on, it'll be on your it. bed when we get here. It's, it's fine. It's not only good for cuddling. When things are most difficult, when you feel that you cannot win and that your father's quest may fail, in reacquiring acquisitions incorporated. Hug that bear with all your love and you will gain assistance. My dad can't lose acquisitions, Inc., then I won't inherit it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. This is a boon I shall protect with my life. Uh, and I, I'm like... <laughs> Now, please, the ride awaits. Is this, is this dangerous? I have heard that Dungeons and Dragons is, you know, satanic. <laughs> Listen, I've, I've dealt with worse. Someone did bring some infernal presence here. Oh, no. I hate that someone did that. <laughs> that's, that's what I like the least. Yeah, how could someone? I know. I, I, if I f fucking find him, I'm going to be like, don't do things like that. We'll point him out to you if we see him. Yeah. yeah. Everybody keep their eyes open. Yeah. Eyes open wide. Fernal. Fine. Let's get, let's get on the ride. Yeah. I'm ready to go. So you get on the ride. 
and... And we catch a vibe, I assume. <laughs> wind blows through your hair. You see animatronic goblins and wizards and elves and dragons I feel like I'm losing you. it. No, no <laughs> your, your, your mind is being torn apart. <laughs> I'm freaking out. And but uh, but I, I am... I'm pretty wound up. It's been a big day. I'm responding as though we are being literally attacked. <laughs> I'm casting spells. <laughs> I'm prepping for the photo at but the end. Fuck. <laughs> fuck! I want to see the picture of us all. <laughs> no, exactly. You're like you're like this. Everybody else is having fun. I'm casting. I'm standing up. My head is out of the shot. Evelyn's like hands in the air. The columns of holy flame are start burning the place down. Starting to get down! There's no picture, it's just a white flare. <laughs> We're fucked! Hug that fucking bear! <laughs> and, and so, as the photo is snapped at the end... At the end of the ride, which is, which is mostly a column of holy fire with certainty on the side clutching the bear, <laughs> you all suddenly find yourself back on this roof. Yes. And up above, your friend Diamond, in pain, inside this device, being used by the evil sorcerer Kellogg, the clones of your friends, and you see Vi, manacled to the side of the Cosmo Hopper, clearly having been caught. And as you take all of this in, the dragon launches up its wings outstretched, and it roars, and that is where we will end. Don't stick oh, you son of a bitch! You monster! You beast! You're too good! You're too good at this! Thank you, everyone. What? 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 Aww. Aww. They're standing. Aww. Aww. Shucks. They Thanks, guys. Aww. Wow. Well, it was good to see it. <laughs> it was real good to see it. Uh, right. Now, it would not be an Acquisitions Incorporated show without a reading from the Book of Alyssa. <laughs> um, so prepare yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. Number one, obviously, you've seen it out there. Level up dice. If you like our fancy pants dice uh, that you see up here or the Snowmate set, uh, check out the Level Up Dice booth uh, right here at PAX Unplugged. If they have any dice left, they do. Um, and their site at levelupdice.net to get your very own luxury dice set too. Obviously, another supporter of the show, Elderwood Academy. Uh, upgrade your tabletop gear with uh, Elderwood Academy. You can see our incredibly handsome dungeon master uh, behind this incredibly handsome screen. Uh, check out the Kickstarter happening now to get your own Master Tome DM screen, which folds up into a book-like shape. Uh, three Idle Champions. Here we go. Uh, it's Simril and Idle Champions. You don't want to miss Jorvan Springpaw, the Herringon Barbarian Druid, the newest champion to join the roster. While you're there, if you take a look at this code up here, you can unlock Kathris Draub and three gold Kathris chests, as well as an in-game Electrum chest with another special code. Now, I'm supposed to hand off to Jeremy for a special announcement? Hmm. Is there a? Sp I yes. didn't. There was an, I didn't. What? Yeah. Oh, what are you? What are you announcing? I have an announcement, and that is also related to Idle Champions. Really? This next year, Idle Champions is going to add Vi herself. <gasps> Yay! Yay! Oh, that's so cool! Look at the art. Look at that lady. They gave you fancy art. Mm -hmm. And so, our favorite planeswalking, gun-toting, pipe-smoking gnome. <laughs> is going to be joining the Idol Champions roster, specifically affiliated with Acquisitions Incorporated, yes. in February, awesome. aventuring alongside Bruinor Battlehammer, Evelyn Marthane, and some guy named Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. 
Well, that's super cool. Nobody told me that. That's awesome. Now, uh, Hero Forge, if you saw the uh, fancy minis up there, those are their courtesy of Hero Forge. We got a chance to make those ourselves. Um, you can make your own minis with countless customization options and receive 10% off color printed minis with the code AC Inc. Uh, through to January 21st, 22. Uh, now, D and Beyond, D and D Beyond has never been easier. Obviously, we were using it up here. Uh, not only is the AC Inc. book on sale this weekend through D and D Beyond, but they just rolled out the new campaign view that you have been preview previewing throughout tonight, available for easy access on your mobile device. Once again, thanks to them for coming back and sponsoring the show again. Um, and they have the, uh, I have the winner of the legendary bundle. Someone is supposed to tell me in my ears. Is it? <laughs> yes, it's this guy. Uh, um, but essentially the legendary bundle is digital editions of 45 official books and a 15% discount on books in the future. I mean, that's Sick. borderline erotic. Um, <laughs> but, but oh, oh, I see right here, it's Joseph Merrick. Yay! Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are you okay? Yeah. You... Okay. All right. I, I didn't know what type of heart grip that was. Just pass it out. <laughs> uh, now, the artificers at D&D Beyond, I had a chance to talk to a few of them today, um, have already added it to your account. Wow. Um, so check it out and enjoy. Uh, and of course, number six, the C-Team epilogue. Uh, tomorrow, come join us tomorrow afternoon right in this very room at this very table uh, or on twitch.tv forward slash PAX at 1.30 p.m. Uh, to end Acquisitions Incorporated's the C-Teams with our final epilogue episode. We hope to see you there. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you. That was so much fun. Sorry. You did amazing. That was so good.